Oh my god, 28. Right. It's another episode. Yes, I feel like yeah. that needs to be on our soundboard too. It's Someone, another episode. Yes, yeah, singing it real soulful, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> that would be nice. Actually. Hey everyone, hi y'all. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to Soul Palette. <laughs> yes, I'm D. I'm Capri, y'all. Yes, and Soul Palette is a podcast where these two beautiful black women are normalizing the black and brown palette yes. as we taste through spirits, wine, aperitifs, digestifs, all mm-hmm. the all the eefs. <laughs> um, all the legit, legit, all the ifs, the canned cocktails, <laughs> all the things. Literally. So yes, we taste it. We taste it, we taste it and we talk it. Mm-hmm. So hello, guys. Thank Welcome. Y'all for being here, we appreciate it. So before we get started, be sure to like. Mm-hmm. Be sure to well, I won't say uh, comment yet because you got to hear all the things. But be sure to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. Yes, so that y'all can be up to date whenever we put these things up, child. Because Lord knows <laughs> when they you. up, they up. <laughs> we need you. <ya. laughs> into you. Ooh, Ooh, pause. Oh, yeah, wait now. Hold Capri on. trying to get up and see. <laughs> Into your brain waves, okay? Into the brain waves. <laughs> That's gonna be a clip into itself. Capri is trying to get up into you. I'm gonna figure out how many news outlets will pick it up and take it as news. Oh my god! Since Capri's famous, some people just Sorry. be looking for anything. Sorry, bros. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a ten second clip. It's a DM. <laughs> Capri Roberts, <laughs> Netflix drink I'm master, trying, to get, up into trying to get up into whom exactly? First of all, Mr. Man, oh, he's always God. trying to talk about I'm going to be on TMZ. I'm like, I'm not that famous to be on TMZ. TMZ, bro. now they're looking for TMZ. salacious. You never know. <laughs> not yet. I mean, not yet. Know but they TMZ, following the, the Kardashians of the world at the moment. Like, they're looking <laughs> right. for people who was out here really in some shenanigans. Yeah, you, live okay. a, you live a pretty normal life. Chill ass right like here. Like, yeah, chill. like, you be chilling. <laughs> like, shit. So, I'm and I don't think we got to worry about TMZ just yet. <laughs> I'm not trying to worry about them ever. <laughs> the fuck? Well, so you're not about to be in like Hollywood. Nah, either, that's like, not cool. With I'm the sorry. mess. It's no. not giving that. Mm-mm. We're not doing whiskey today, y'all. Yes, we are. We, I thought we were about to be doing all bourbon, but actually, no, I've got a rye in the mix. Okay. Um, we are doing rare character whiskey to be specific. Oh. I think we've done rare character in a lineup. I don't know if we've done a lineup of all rare character. I have to go back and look at some episodes, but. Either way, I know if we've tasted through some mm-hmm. rare character before. Okay. Um, but I'm excited for this little lineup. So three of them are all special finishes. And then the last one is this very limited hazmat. I don't know. Am I allowed to say the distiller? I'm not going to say the distiller just in case I'm not supposed to know that. Oh, true. Okay. Um, so <laughs> just in case I'm not supposed to know the little scoop that I have on who distilled this, I'm not going to say anything about the fourth one yet. <laughs> we know um, you don't. But we got to... <laughs> <laughs> but um yes yeah, so i'm excited to have you taste through these yes. one of these i have not opened yet so i like when there's one in here that i have not come across yet so that's the second one yeah yeah the oh, second nice. one so oh, right. yes rare character it, they do blends guys they um do not actually distill they have some really great um blenders over there that are having a lot of fun with some special finishes they get a lot of cool casks um, shout out to Pablo. If y'all want to learn any more about them, you can actually go to the Sealbox Instagram okay. at Drink Sealbox. Nice. And there's like a whole hour long conversation with me and Pablo actually getting into the brand and all of that. Um, so, yeah, feel free to dive into that, guys. I'm not going to I'm it. not going to bore you with all the extras. Love it. So our first sip. First we sip. It's going to be. So I kind of arrange these by like the least. Um, What's the word? Like the the cast to like overpower the whiskey the least to kind of what would impart more okay. of its flavors on it, if that makes okay. sense least intense least intensity well, intensity there we okay. go yeah least intensity to more intensity okay. in terms of the um impressions of the cast okay sounds good so we're starting with a white port finished bourbon okay and this one is a pick actually we just sold out of this one after I did the um. Like, right after I did the review that I posted nice. on Instagram. So, Love that. fun. Don't know yes. if it's correlated, but I'm going to say it is. Yeah. 
So and you better write it down. It sure was <laughs> timing, timing wise. I posted Time stamp. This, I posted this, and this the balls were gone by the side. Um, the yeah, but so he included it in the he included the review in the email. So then, yeah, Fab. it was you were a part of it, girl. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, take, take that. that. Take yes, that. go team, go. You're influencer. <laughs> One you of know, these days, uh, I will not cringe when I hear that word. One I day. know, right? I, I feel it's a cringy way. word. It's for just me. like, am I? Yeah, because I don't. But yeah, everybody that has a page and people are like, oh, they're watching your page for ideas and and opinions. Updates and opinions. And like, You're an influencer. You, you influence. have influence. Yeah. Yes. That's just what it is. That. That's what it is. It's the <laughs> er at the end for me. The I just er. it's the er. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> I'm an influencer to buy me an R for free R. Yes, okay, that's the part of influencering that I'm happy to cash in on. Now, if I got to claim influencer to cash in on those, fly me out somewhere fly just to talk R. about your brand, honey. And I'll be R. Just to give my opinion on your brand, Period. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. The Ooh, fuck? My earrings are jingle jangling, honey. I, no, I love them. Thank you. I just got them yesterday. Yeah, they look great. I was down Georgetown. Oh yeah, where? Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna plug the store because they ain't cut no check. Oh, well, bye. But- <laughs> okay, okay. Talk to us about our first one. Is um, mm, so I got caught up in smelling that fast, so y'all. My bad. So, <laughs> so rare character white pork cast finished bourbon. We are coming in at five years old on this blend. Okay, okay. and one hundred and nine point twenty six proof. What? I don't know how long it spent time in the white pork cast. I am going to ask them. Okay. So I'll try to have some answers for y'all on that. Also, um, I don't know if I've ever had white port before. I have not tried white port. But, oh, you know what? Yes, I have once by itself. God, that was a while ago, though. Like, yeah. I've tried it once. And to be honest, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what made it different from, like, a red port. Yeah. Um, besides, I'm sure port, it was, like, yeah. more, like, crisp in its, like, flavors or whatever, I'm sure. But, um, damn. It wasn't that notable of a difference that I kept it in my memory bank like that, though. Right. So now we got to actually, we need to do a lineup of ports. We Who need to, like, port? compare, like, the cheap-ass, what is it, Tawny Port? Tawny Port. And compare it to, like, some really good, solid yeah. quality. Mm, I'm going to work on that one. Erica, calling that. Erica. <laughs> calling all wine professionals. Yes. We, need we need you help. guys to suggest help. things for us. Thank you so much. That was my announcer we'll voice. It, yeah, I'm going to put it on Facebook, see what we can get. Mm. Okay. I should just put out a whole big ass. I need calling sample balls. Yes. Yeah, calling all brands. Calling just all professionals. Calling all. Me, please get in my DM. Yes, for you should. Ask. Yes, we need to be pimping these followers. <laughs> pimping this followership. I don't have enough pimping me. I, know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think about it. But I don't work my friends' connections hard. and freedom and uh, fame enough. Hard. Like, I could be working Shantae's ass over down at the Black Egg. I don't know what I would do. Because I don't have no pimp in me. That's real. That's real. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we need to do is go down there and ask to, to have a show in the shop. Yes. Like and they this. need to make sure Shantae's a part of that motherfucker. Because yes. there's anybody that is great, good, subtle, shady TV. Yes. <laughs> with all the shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> it is Shantae Cicerone. <laughs> okay. Okay, nose is, this is interesting. Like actually. banana, like peel. artificial, yeah, like or peel too, yeah. But like, okay, so when you say artificial, immediately what it made me think of? Do you remember those candies that were in the shape of That's the fruit? Smelling, okay, because yes, it makes me think of like because they were kind of like powdery in yes, a sense, like they had exactly. that. That yeah, that pale powder on them, and powder. that's what it reminds me of. And then like Ooh. the fuzzy part of peaches. Yes. I don't know if that makes any sense. The Not the inside part. of the peach, the, just the outside. Just of the, the fuzzy skin. outerness. That's interesting. And caramel, and caramel. Yes, for sure. I'm not getting anything grapey. No, porty ish. Well, maybe that's the fruit. That was it's like definitely that. fruit. Yeah. It's definitely know. fruitiness. A little bit of vanilla, like vanilla custard, like vanilla custard creamish type of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the banana, oh. for sure, that like banana powdery wow. smell. You know what's funny? When I was smelling this while doing my review, I didn't. I don't know if I got the banana. Yeah. And that just always goes to show y'all, you have to go back to whiskeys and like you continue to... Because it's just like nature interacts with the air, yes. interacts with the environment. Like, yes. always go back and continue to smell and taste and, like, 
don't think just because you tasted it one or two times that you've experienced everything about it because it's, it's not true it's not because you're very much going to like compare this to my review that i posted right and i'm not going to say everything that i said and one that i said I, the there's other. been many times where i've gone back to the same thing that i've tasted many times before and pulled out different notes it just yeah. is what it is for sure it could also be and the that's day. the fun of it too it yeah. could be the day <laughs> it could be any number of things anything Oh, wow. I just got something interesting when I... Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to go back to that and figure out what that is. Mm. Wow. Mm, yum. So it has this Very like... roasty. Roasty. Kind of like prune-ish raisin thing going on, but like in a way that you like it in dessert. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a raisin syrup-ish. Not like raisin... Yeah, like eating it, which is nice to me. Raisin syrup actually sounds. I don't know why bomb. I've never made one before. I don't think I've ever had one made by someone before. All right, I gotta remember this raisin syrup. Raisin syrup that sounds really cool. You know, could also be cool. A golden raisin syrup that sounds great. Why have we not done this before? Mm. I'm gonna order. Oh, I can't wait! To, I, was gonna say, I can't wait <laughs> to try it when you make right it. Now. <laughs> It's the cost. Uh, oh, you know what? I mean, I'm not going to plug your name either. Right. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if y'all ain't cutting no chip, y'all ain't sending no product, Nothing. y'all ain't flying a bitch out, I ain't you ain't plugging, if y'all ain't sending no groceries <laughs> for the free fucking 99, period. dude, huh. you ain't plugging your shit, period. You plugging your mark ass shit. Mark ass. Your oh. mark ass. <laughs> and that's on <what>, period. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. Mark has got to be one of my favorite, <laughs> favorite Mark California is. words ever. Period. But you have to say it like a fucking Californian. <laughs> Your Mork ass. It's Mork. Just like you cannot say Eric in Washington, D.C., it is Irk. It is the same thing. I'm sorry. It's Irk? It's Irk. Okay, cool. It's Irk. It is E R R R C. We completely erase the I. It is Eric. If they are from Washington, D.C., and they're saying Eric, they lie to you. You are lying to you. At least Capisha. when they're comfortable and or upset. Because some people turn switch, they code switch. We do. Sometimes you got to code switch. Yeah, you can't be up in a government building, good government building saying Eric. Yeah, no. At least not like the White House or something. Now, you could be. Down with Mata, you can be in the Department of Justice saying Irk. Because <laughs> we all up and through them good government buildings. But That's so true. If they claim that they are D.C. born and raised, and they say it, Eric and Erica, oh, Eric. they're lying to Erica. you, bro. Erica. They're lying to you. Ask them what year they moved here. Because they didn't <laughs> come from here. <laughs> People try to, What's oh, after 10 Ask them what high school they went to. Ask them what high school they went to. If they saw them from D.C., ask them what part and see how they answer you. Yeah, this smells like peach liqueur after a little water. Really? And caramel. Once again, caramel. A good, like, mm-hmm. hot caramel, like, red apple thing. Mm. So, like a candied apple, but, like, the caramel is still like warm? Very more caramel than apple. Ooh, okay. Almost like a... Ooh, uh, I almost get that on the nose. That's what, yeah, when I smell it, so almost like a... Um, Down to the cinnamon piece. Yes, almost like a, a pastry almost would be. Ooh, right? okay. Like an apple turnover? Almost like that, but like a lot of caramel. Like Meanwhile, I don't eat no apple turnovers, but Me it neither, sounds but like it, something flaky, that's... Little, yeah, exactly. A little bit of butter, that sugar that comes on top. But not that shit y'all be getting from McDonald's. No, that's not, not what we're that, talking about. Not that apple pie thing. No. Like somebody made this homemade. Yeah, fresh, flaky, buttery. Mm. Like that Yes, because that butteriness pie, is actually good. Too. Like, All of that is yeah. in that, that nose. That's crazy. Wow, the butteriness, mm. the flakiness of like a baked good. Right? That smells, you can smell the all cinnamon, that. the apple, the caramel. You can smell color. all that. Wow. Ooh, Insane. see? And this is why you go back to your bottles. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Raisin. Like, yep. Roast and raisin. Yeah. Like, really good because that like smokiness is there. Now I'm getting like pepperiness. Peppery for Sitting sure. like at the mid front palate. There's something else that like, damn, I could really spend a lot of time on that, and mm-hmm. I don't know the last. Well, I haven't been able to now really I get smell dark it chocolate taste like that, so I'm really happy about this. But yeah, to be able to experience it, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, the duck chocolate. Okay, so y'all, I made tacos last night. Mm. We almost ate all the taco shit last night. I Damn. Them. That's how you taco know them that good. Girl, I made this mango sauce. You got to taste it. It's Ooh, so bitch, good. Yes. Mm. You got some left. Yes. yes. I love a good salsa. Especially a good homemade salsa. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing like finding a good one in a jar, but there is nothing like making it yourself. I, and I jarred it because usually I just like lettuce let in a bowl. Yeah, I'm like, nope, put it in a glass jar. It a makes jar. a difference. It's so good. I'm like, wow, I really made salsa. It I'm makes so, a difference so throwing happy. in glass jars, though. Yeah. It really does. And yeah, so now it's all marinated. I made a mm-hmm. lot. I'm like, why not? But I needed to get rid of my green pepper and jalapeno. So I put all that whole mango, Ooh, yes. cilantro, onion. Garlic, salt, pepper, mm-hmm. lime juice, and you tomatoes. You can use the salsa even outside of just tacos. If you oh, want yeah, to make some like make some cilantro rice and sit some mm-hmm. Ooh, cilantro, cilantro rice, rice with that mango good. salsa on I, top. Bomb. Dude, I have a shit ton. I like only. I'm down to one tortilla, so I can't use that. So I'm thinking <laughs> in my head today, how I'm going to eat the rest of this food. So I'm thinking taco salad. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to use my cornbread. I got cornbread. Put it beans, meat. <laughs> that's what's that one. Not a chili bowl, bowl per se, but like a, a taco. It's kind of giving it. Okay, it's giving fusion. <laughs> it's giving ingenuity. We're it's giving that shit necessity, today. and it's giving fusion. Period. Period. I'm not mad at that. That's hilarious. I'm not mad at that at all. You gotta do what you gotta yes. do in these streets. In these streets. In these streets. Speaking awesome. of these streets. <laughs> yes, catching up, y'all. Up today, I went to a little quick bop to Brooklyn. Yes, quick. Bop. A little quick, quick bop, bop to Brooklyn. Bop. See my good girl, Julia. Hey, Julia with the big titties. Yes. Happy birthday, girl. Yes, it's her dirty birthday. 30. Yeah, she's 30. Let me do a titty Brian. shake for you since I couldn't make it. It was so, it was so oh, good. Speaking of, it's Brian's actual birthday today. Um, Text that man. Happy birthday. Oh, don't forget All these now. goddamn birthdays. First off, Brian's Aquarius. Oh, you know yes, I child. I knew that. Oh, tell him I said happy birthday. Um, yeah. It's the first off, there's a lot of us, and like now I am it, convinced. I'm, so, I'm like getting more much surrounded by Aquarius. Actually, I I've am noticed. convinced that what would the world do without us? I don't know. You would not. Well, the Leos would be trying to keep y'all going, but yeah, no, we wouldn't be trying to keep y'all going like no Aquarius though, because we are a whole different. That's so true. <laughs> I don't know what y'all would do without us. It's the, the, balance, that's yes, it's it's the, the balance, balance that's needed. It's the balance that's needed. Somebody, while wow, it was so, it was beautiful. We, I got up there. I went there a quick little eleven hours. Got there at like five p.m. Met her and uh, one of her partners for dinner. Nice. We ate. Then we got back to her place. She changed. She had her friends come over. It was great because I haven't seen some of them since. Because I've known Julia since Long before time. we were twenty one. Yeah. And so you know, a lot of her GW friends that I remember being out drinking with long ago got to see them again. And she just wanted to have everybody come to her favorite bar, which is Basic, mm-hmm. um, which we've been at for for BCB. Basic is in B A S I K. Yes. yes, yes. Okay, okay. So nice. a, she's very. She's like around the corner, so that's like her. That's where bar. We, was that the way the Duce thing was? No, that was Bonnie's, which is okay. also very close. Okay, but Basic was where you know me, you, Alma, we were sitting outside. Yes, all talking, of us were talking and yeah, chatting about the things. Yes. yes. Okay, because um, they've got the bar that's part inside, part outside, yes. but it's warm. Yes. Okay, I remember um, now. It's so like fifty plus people showed up for her. Oh, I love and, that. Like, Julie's Did, the was person. Frank in town for that? Yes, that's what Frank came in town for. I love for. that. Okay. Uh, and I didn't know they were close like that. They okay. Are, yeah, very close. Nice. And like, um, she doesn't usually do things for her birthday. She's always like, I might go chill. I might go do this. But she th- she's like, it's thirty. I should ring it in right. And so yeah, she celebrate herself for sure. And she was like, I bet you a whole lawyer out here, honey. Yes, so. you a whole lawyer out in Brooklyn, baby. And she's gonna be with us in Aruba. Mm-hmm. She's excited. I'm excited. I saw her her green outfit, so I'm excited. Mm-hmm. It's, funny. it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Um, but yeah, I'm like. It was a great time, you know. I didn't take no shots. I was proud of myself. Okay. I just did cocktails the whole time. Did you so, feel better for it? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, I'm growing up. I don't need to take shots. No. I don't have to. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. I'm cool for the one, maybe two, if it's if it's really a turn up. Yeah. After that, I got to chill. Yeah. <laughs> I have to it chill. Really, if I want to sustain yeah. and be able to go day to the day, the yeah. next day, whatever, I, I got to chill on the though. shots. I had like I think I had like four French seventy fives and a oh, margarita, shit, he had bubbles, a gin, right? <laughs> Ooh, bitch, you were still a margarita with Will because Will was like, "Ooh, the margarita is good." So I got a, a margarita. So yes. Chef Will, hey Shout Will, I'm about to say shout out to my bitch. We do margaritas. Shout out Chef Will, saw Cassandra. Hey Shout boo, out. hey Marshawn, I saw yes. you in the pics. Too. Yes, Marshawn came with Will. Marshawn is everything yes, too. I love them together, um, bitch. I see, I see you. I see you out in California. 
you, bitch. Yes, yeah. I was just about to say, I saw that story. Yeah, I mean, like you will, maybe Sonya, there's like, I can count on one hand how many people whose stories I actually watch. Oh, yeah, that's real. <laughs> and Will is one of them. That's I mean, real. I don't even be like, she be watching actual, every actual story. Because <laughs> I be responding, laughing, yep. clapping. Yes. yes. <laughs> I be doing all of it. That's real. I think, I, I, I look at yours, I look at PJ's, mm-hmm. um, when I look at Blake's, Tunji's, um, I guess there's other people that I'm like, hmm, but like some. If I'm curious, I'll I pop like, it. Just like, Tap. but I'll definitely tap through some shit. Mm-hmm. If I'm curious, I'll pop it. But I'm definitely always on princesses. Like, girl, this is hilarious. <laughs> she posts some hilarious shit on her phone. For real. Oh my god, I'm like, this is so funny. Where do you find this shit? We crack it up, oh, bro. I be wondering where Robbie finding the ignorant ass shit she be finding on Instagram. Because <laughs> she don't post nothing, but she'll send me stuff in my damn DM. I'm like, where did you even find Yo, this? Yeah, just look. When you, we are deep diving. Right. It just happens. And she be see. diving into the valley deep, honey, because I don't understand. Yeah, like some people, I just be like, let me see what's going on. But <sighs> Speaking of what's going on. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> What's going on is for the first time ever, because I don't play it by my trans community, honey. I'm not even trans, oh, as y'all know. Lord. But I don't play about my trans girls, the right. girls and the guys. But y'all are tripping on this. Okay, one. they tripping. Y'all are tripping on this motherfucker right now because. Like, what are we talking about? <sighs> okay, for those who may have been under a rock recently. <sighs> There is now there is now an, an up in armsness regarding Aretha Franklin's song Natural Woman. Natural Woman. You make me feel uh, you make me And also feel. like let's talk about that. You y'all be arguing down that you are you are a real woman. We agree with you. You feel like a woman. You identify with the woman female not female experience because that's talking about anatomy. But yeah. you identify with the woman experience. So the song should make you feel good. Because she said, "I feel you make, make me, me feel. feel like a natural woman." So what's wrong with that? So what's wrong with that? Now my thing is. So what's wrong with that? Now let's give y'all a little bit of context. Oh, yes, this sorry, is yes. an activist group in Norway. Okay. <laughs> Lord, thankfully, and thankfully, and thankfully, in Norway, thankfully you know, it's not the American trans. Okay. Damn, because then funny. it'd be. I mean, we got enough blasphemy on our own soil. Right. But these motherfuckers out of Norway is trying to sit here and dictate what we playing on the streams, talking about this song, Aretha Franklin's classic. Natural woman. Fuck, 1960 motherfucking eight. Yeah. Martin Luther King was still alive when this motherfucker was Child. a hit. Please cut this shit out. Child. Okay, now they saying that this song has been, has incited harm to be done onto trans people. Because somehow, somewhere, somebody was listening to a rink the say, you make me feel. Yeah. And said, I want to go cause harm to a trans person today. Like, how? How? I'm going to let my clicking earring yeah. do the crickets. Because <laughs> I don't how? understand. But this is what gets me here is there is no such thing as a natural woman. Yes, there actually is. Like, how dare you say that? And... If there was no such thing as a natural woman, what would you all of trans experience be comparing yourselves to? That's, I agree. Because then how would you identify the difference between feeling like a man and feeling like a woman if, if there, there is no, no natural woman being? <sighs> how do you like do y'all even listen to yourselves before y'all say some shit no. out loud in writing in the public and make demands on some shit no. that is not even backed by facts or anything i'm sick of motherfuckers wanting shit to happen just based off your feelings period like that don't make no sense and then y'all have had to backtrack it because you realize how fucking dumb and foolish you all sounded like what the fuck like and nobody actually pulled it from any platforms correct because yeah. like who the fuck how can one justify even doing that you can't and the label's not going for that because how dare you try to no take from their coin it. whoever owns the masses baby that ain't going nowhere uh, like, it's like obscene I, when it came to my, my obscene. eyes i was like Mwah. i was like no we're not going uh, motherfucker i don't even look into oh, it because you know it's who had a, a but, great 
that's why I keep talking because I'm going to pull it up. It, yeah, since then, supposedly, <laughs> now the motherfuckers are a satire group. They're no longer this. They're a fucking group. lie group. They're is what sat- they are. satire. And it was supposedly lie. all satire, and they were joking about it. And I'm like, it, and it calls, and they say a now debunked activist group. So <laughs> I don't know what they was doing before this post. Being idiots because. <laughs> De- Did anybody go back to see if they were actually debunking anything else before this? That's what I'm saying. Like they said, "Boy, you ain't gonna come for the uh, the queen." We're of debunking soul, a motherfucking thing. Okay, let me pull up what the TS had to say about oh, it, because you already know. Okay. <laughs> Aretha Franklin's 1968 song "A Natural Woman" deemed offensive by the trans community. Mind you, this is TS, the transsexual Madison. <laughs> Did you get the other slide? Oh yes, <laughs> get the other slide. Get the other slide because it won't be right if you don't put the other slide in there. <laughs> okay. Now, all right. Y'all not going to like me. And I mean this with all my heart. Y'all not going to like me. Okay. And I say a lot of shit that y'all don't like, but oh, motherfucking well. Uh-oh. What happened? Y'all get somewhere and sit down with that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Sit down. Y'all get somewhere and sit the fuck down with that st- dumb, stupid dumb. ass fucking shit. Stupid. We got real, 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 real deep problems. That's so real. And I don't real deep problems going on in this motherfucking world to be offended by some shit that was in nineteen sixty. A lot of you hoes don't even didn't even know that the people's before you was trans, trans, trans. Right. Go on somewhere with that fucking shit. <laughs> like, what are we talking about? Oh, God. Okay. Now she goes on further than that, of course, but I'm going to let y'all go ahead and go to her page for that. The real TS Madison on Instagram, Child. honey. Get into it. But come on now. Like, she said it. Just, Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Like, like what? always reaching. Always reaching. You know what I'm saying? Grasping. Like, it's. So the grass. It's always a part of me. there's always parts of the groups that you're just like, child, you just make and it worse for the rest every, of us. And it's in every concentrated group of individuals. Yeah. There's always gonna be the fuck boys. Always. Fuck boys and fuck girls, excuse always. me. Let me not discriminate. It's always gonna be the fuck Fucked boys. individuals. The fucked individual. There we go. How politically Period. how more politically correct can we get? <laughs> the fucked individuals. Like just messing it up for the world. Like for bro. everybody, shall we go to our second sip? Because we go, I think we you go. get it. We're not with it. You're not going to come for my girl Aretha Franklin, bitch. Especially because you don't in want her passing, honey. Like you're going to try to attack this lady from the grave, child. Shame on yourself, child. Shame on your mother. Well, that's what, they, that's what they be trying to do, though. Mm-hmm. This is Michael Jackson. Like, bitch, don't get me started. That's a whole other episode. That's don't real. get me started on a look. I don't know if I'm one of them people buying. Leaving Neverland. I don't know. Uh, I just don't know. That shit was a lot, though. It was a lot. Did you watch it? Yes, I did. I watched it. It was a lot. (sighs) And, you know. It's one of those ones that's tricky for me. uh, I I do believe. Uh, I kind of want to fight it so bad. I believe he's in some weird shit, but I also believe in just the fact that there is these areas of life where that was a life form and lifestyle for all, yes. all of those people involved and i was going to say i really also believe and i believe the same thing with r kelly but r kelly's still a little different beast for me but when it comes to the michael jackson thing and when it comes the to these thing. families in particular that are willing to, to get on the cameras and, and do all of the pursuing of the millions those and things, parents put those they boys put in those fucking those children situations. up on the block to be Absolutely. utilized however the Absolutely. fuck they saw fit Absolutely. and they maybe didn't want to know anything about what's necessarily or happening. Or turn a blind eye. That's what I'm saying. Because I they think were having they were voluntarily with... turning a blind Absolutely. eye. So Absolutely. I... Because they get on the show. What I didn't like about the show is they was like, it got, it got to be a, aggressive and obsessive because he kept calling the house wanting to talk but to But y'all keep about. taking them kids over there. But, leaving them there. Like, to spend nights. What you think? Knowing that they're sleeping in his room. It's a grown man. Like, this is an adult man. It was a grown-ass man. But this is also another... Like I said, this could be a whole other episode. Because it also kind of circles back into this whole thing of, like, turning certain celebrities into something that isn't human. Right. 
Absolutely. And then when they have human shit and human flaws and yeah. human quirks and yeah. human perversions and all these things, yeah. then all of a sudden they become the demon, the villain, the enemy, the sick yeah. person, the this, the yeah. that. But meanwhile, you're the one putting the blinders on, acting like this person is ethereal and above it all. Yeah. And essentially using your children as this sacrificial offering you to this individual for your own gain. And so like, what are we really it's giving about? cycle for me. It's yeah. giving cycle for yeah. me. Yeah. Like, I don't, like, what the fuck? What fr- are we really talking about? What are we really talking about? We're not talking about enough of it. No. I'll tell you that much. We're not talking no. about all the parts we really should be talking about. Okay. But. It, like, those situations at the end of the day, yes. This one man is doing this thing, but at the same time, it was a group of y'all, community, honey. It's like, how do you feed the machine? Someone's feeding the machine. Someone are feeding the machine. The R. Kelly thing too. Absolutely. There's literally a fucking entire machine operating to enable him, to supply him, to protect mm-hmm. him, cover mm-hmm. up for him, continue mm-hmm. to supply and mm-hmm. enable and cover mm-hmm. up and protect. Until it no longer feeds. As long as everybody's you check all. clears. Period. Parents included. Child. So... The fuck are we really talking what about? Really there talking needs about? to be a surviving the parents <laughs> series, like uh, no, too many people be too leaving the parents, We're leaving. The, I don't know, leaving. We're the all <laughs> but nobody's going to survive themselves like surviving Jesus. parents. Who chow? I couldn't even watch we, it. That'd be a documentary. Now I wouldn't be able to watch it. I don't think anybody would be able to tell the truth enough to be able to watch it. I, I could tell cap. the truth. I wouldn't be able to I watch cap. it. Every, every cap, every sentence, not cap. <laughs> Every sentence, you know, full fact. Well, I thought it was just cap, cap. Shut up, <laughs> lying ass. Just, I love my parents, but you know they don't. Oh, I thought don't it was want cap. to face the truth. <laughs> I don't be want to face the truth about what they done did to you. I was trying to do his best for you. <laughs> yeah. No, cap. that's not it. We need that's a not cap. The need a fucking cap button. Cap. Her. Cappington. Listen, Capisha. Cap- the fuck. I'm done. Capisha. We're not doing oh, this. God. We're not doing this. Oh, Mm-mm. not Capisha. Oh, that's Child, great. Out of here. That's a great one. I like that. Capisha. <laughs> I'm writing that the down. Fuck? I'm writing that down. Whoa. Oh, it's a great one. <laughs> Listen, I'm over it. <laughs> like, Y'all know I'm petty. I love it. And you know, Capisha. I try to talk about it all the time. Uh, 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 uh. Growing up is traumatic in itself. You start to reality starts to open itself to you and things don't look the way they used to look and mm. that alone is traumatic but what goes on top of that is that you have someone guiding your every move who is probably not a great person to choose things they to make great decisions for you. their own selves decisions for their own selves but now they have to make decisions for you mm-hmm. and you think this word is bond word is life and then you grow up and figure out what the fuck did i go through while i was a child and Girl. why and then that's alone adds another layer of trauma like shh, parenting is a lot it's a motherfucking lot and i don't have yes that. y'all do your best but at the same time child everybody just needs to go to therapy before they have children Her. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah so what was oh, the so second sip is rare carrot suburban okay. finished in px sherry cast and this is an r bourbon pick hey jay Yes. What it do? I will make it y'all a little, a little bit of information or whatever oh, no, about no, the things and no, the things and the things. Oh, I still had the white port pulled up, child. <laughs> Forgive me, y'all. Um. Oh yes. PX. Oh yes. We like a PX. Sherry PX Shuri has. See, if they're from DC, they calling the Shuri, not Sherry. Sure. They calling the Shuri. <laughs> Okay, so this is PX Shuri cast finish. Yes. Was aged for five years and six months. I'm just gonna assume the six months part of that. Was in Jerry Gats? I don't know. Because they don't separate it. Okay. So, <laughs> Excuse me. And it is 106.8 proof. So okay. we're, really, we're pretty mild in terms okay, of like good. the proof situations happening right now. I'm going to have to get on a character about this. Why don't y'all give us more info? Like process related info. I just want some more process related info. info. I know some of it might be like. Some legalities and things around it, perhaps. Just give us a little bit more, but just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. Here, just a little, a little, little more. more of the process. See, it's just me. <laughs> just a touch. Mm. Okay, now this is one I haven't tried yet. That's wow. The nose is interesting already. Hold up. Okay, well, hmm. I got my one and done. I guess. No. We'll try to, try to blow it out. See what happens. 
There's something almost like, I don't know if powdery is the word, but powdery is kind of the word. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so I'm getting cherry 1,000%. Let me see. Yep. Ooh, and I'm getting, and I'm getting purple grapes. Nice. Like, I'm definitely getting that. Damn, you're not getting nothing. Nothing. Damn. I don't know what that's about. That is int- I wonder what the hell that is about. I smell one and then I'm done. Mm, it's the motherfucking one and done. The one take Drake. <sighs> nothing. Sidebar, I still cannot listen to Rich Flex without seeing Drake twerking in the studio. <laughs> It's just a clap. I love it. <laughs> I cannot. I love it. I cannot unsee that shit. It'll be like that. And it's so great. It's like, funny. Dad, oh, throw that ass back. Yeah, something for me. Yeah, that little like. red back for me. Uh, mm, ah, ah, he like that shit. Yeah. It's given. He had to be looking 21 in the eyes when he was recording. <laughs> I know for a fact. Crazy ass. <laughs> in the eyes. In the eyes. Oh, God. That's so great. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I got off track. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'm getting cherry. I'm getting purple grape. I'm getting some almost like smoke ash off of like a campfire because it's not Ooh. intense like a campfire. Yeah. But it's like something that's kind of like wafty and it's still got that kind of like roasty essence of like you're kind of getting the remnants of like a fire that just got put out love that that's yeah. exactly what that is and kind I think of a hint taste of like the sherry. nuttiness that should hopefully that's there for the, for the sherry mm-hmm. I feel mm. like I taste cherry chocolate maybe definitely dark chocolate. dark chocolate yeah mm-hmm. I'm getting that's that cherry too like, pull out. like concentrated cherry yeah mm-hmm Wow, that's interesting. And something like menthol-y, like on the very back of my tongue, because mm. it's like numbing the back of my tongue, everything else feels normal. Huh. That's interesting. Get a little cinnamon, a little peppery. Mm-hmm. I definitely get the menthol. You feel it, right? And sometimes, like, and I'm always hesitant when I'm doing, like, my tasting notes and stuff. Like, technically, that can be called herbaceous, I guess. Because herbs tend to have that numbing effect. But when I'm tasting something, I don't, I wouldn't call that herbaceous, though. Like, that's why I always just attribute it to, like, menthol. (laughs) Because I don't know what else to, thank you, to, um attribute that to because yeah. it's not like i'm not getting thyme or rosemary or right. sage or cilantro right. or something like that like it's just a mentholy herbaceousness in in texture and feel so i always feel the need to explain that when i'm writing my notes out because <laughs> i don't oh, want yeah. people to misinterpret right I'm like i don't get mint at all well i never said that motherfucker <laughs> yeah Mm, water brought out the chocolate more. It tastes like chocolate. Mm-hmm. Like a dark chocolate bar. Pours. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye bye. <laughs> purr, purr, purr. But yeah, mm. y'all. I don't know. I definitely need to go to a doctor. Oh, wow. Crazy this yeah, morning. the water brought out the chocolate. Yeah. On the palate, too. Definitely giving more like a chocolate bar, but like with cinnamon. Yeah. That heat. Mm hmm. The sweet heat. Ooh, sweet heat. Mm, mm, mm. Damn, I'm hungry. <laughs> Think about my hunger now. Yeah, I feel you. I don't even have no breakfast yet. I feel you, my G. I feel you, Bob. I feel you, feel you Shawty. <laughs> That's real. Oh, talking about sweet heat. Girl. Girl. What is Girl. going on? What did you find? How did you find this? I love a good segue, honey. Child. Girl. Okay, so bitch. I don't know if y'all knew this. This is crazy. I but did not we are in the West T segment of this podcast, yeah. and West T is that Fireball has been out here scamming the people. I did not know this at all. Fireball has been out here scamming the people, and you that's know one of the, I had crazy. like a that's a Raven moment when I was re- listening to this, this or is watching so it insane. on. Because I was like, let me put up this link. So guys, so insane. You ever realize 
how there's the fireball mini bottles, right? Yes. And in the liquor store, they have them with the rest of the mini bottles. Yes. But they also sell them in gas stations and convenience stores. And I never thought twice about it. No, I One, never did. because when you're at a certain age and you're not like working in a bar or thinking of this as a career and things like that, you don't think about things like, oh, does this place have a liquor license to yeah. sell <laughs> alcohol retail? Legit. Like, who the fuck is walking around really wondering that shit? You Nobody. just assume that if they're selling it, it must be that they're allowed to. Right. And so it never dawned on me to question why they wouldn't have like access to other types of alcohol. Right. In like a 7-Eleven as an example. Damn. But then they can sell malt liquor and fireball. Wow. And so what's happening, guys, is wow. these fireball minis that are being sold in like stores that are not liquor stores or yeah. not selling actual hard liquor. They're putting a, like a malt substitute, like a malt liquor substitute in the shots. Like no alcohol. Just though. infusing them with cinnamon. <laughs> Not getting you drunk. That's crazy. It is completely ridiculous. Let me see. So the Washington Post oh my God. said people buying small bottles of Fireball cinnamon at their local convenience store might be surprised to learn that they're not getting the same stuff that comes from the liquor store. And that difference is at the center of a lawsuit in which a customer is suing the maker of both beverages. Fireball cinnamon whiskey, the spicy hot booze sold in liquor stores, is the drink most people are probably familiar with. But Fireball cinnamon, which is available at grocery stores, gas stations, and other places that are not permitted to sell liquor, is something else. Oh, my God. The drink, which is which debuted in 2020, is actually a malt beverage flavored to taste like whiskey. It's oh sold gosh. in small bottles that usually go for 99 cents. I also don't buy Fireball, so I would have never known I would never thought about that this. it's sold for 99 cents. I don't like, reach for it ever. Did somebody be like, oh, I'm going to get 20 and was like, why don't I feel anything? Why don't I feel shit? And, and now my stomach hurts. <laughs> a recent lawsuit filed against Sazerac, which makes both, claims that the convenience store version is misleading because the packaging is almost identical to its boozy older it sibling. It is not almost. It is it's, identical. It, it's exactly. The one, and one would have to read the very fine print on the bottle to know that it wasn't just a smaller version of the popular liquor. So they might not win this because it was on the bottle, like they are written on the bottle, but they also but just they, might. But they might get away with something on that. Because who the fuck is reading the fuck? Like, bruh. And they gonna get away with it. They're gonna try to get action. away. Should I get in on this class action? <laughs> Bitch, yes, get in on that. Get in on that so that we can follow the news. Because, child, I can't even lie to these people like I buy for my I don't even. <laughs> I, I don't eat. I can't even lie to y'all. Like. I wouldn't be able to taste it. I don't fucking know. But, uh, child. Crazy. They've been out here scamming the people for three years. Wow. And now the chickens have come home to roost and recoup. And it's just like. The lack of drunk. You know, when things like this happen, I'm always like, what? who thought of this? Who some, thought some of this? Some on it in the, in the damn I idea rumor. Like, I some scammy on it in the idea room. It was like, well, if you remove whiskey from the label, you know, they barely know the difference. I was going to say By the it. time they figure it out, there'll be 20 minis in. <laughs> like, that's exactly how they think. We'll get, we ain't got so many of them sold off. Who the fuck oh cares? Oh, my gosh. Like, I just like, wow. That's that bullshit. And you know wow. ain't nobody behind the counter at the convenience store going to tell you they it's going to let you buy them up. Well, because they probably know. Of course know. they know because they know they, they can't it. sell liquor, so they That's know crazy. they could not legally purchase it if it was liquor. Who is the brand ambassador? You tell them the do, truth. Who do we know as Sazerac? Right, tell the truth to the people. Mm, mm, tell the truth, Lord. shame the devil, child, because oh, that's the crazy. devil's work. How many other brands are doing this shit? That is the devil's work. So now I gotta look at a convenience I'm store. If I see some mini bottles up on the motherfucking counter, I'm gonna be looking at y'all sideways. Yes. It's like, do y'all know y'all scamming the people? Yes, they do. Do you know you misleading the people? Yes, are you they open do. about the fact that it's not alcohol? Yes, they because are. yes, most of these people not so asking. All those things. So right. all those things. Scammy Literally. motherfucking honor. And apparently everybody's scamming. Because the ultimate scammer who managed to scam her way into <laughs> getting a fucking <laughs> that way to get a fucking right to get a great. fucking limited series made about her life of scamming. We're doing great. Has managed to scam her way <laughs> into a reality TV show. Yeah. Whilst on house arrest. Anna the scammer, aka like, Anna Sorkin, how? y'all. This bitch has a. Re- she just got greenlit for a reality TV show. Now she got out of jail. Whatever time ago that she got out of jail, 
and has been on house arrest since. But she still manages to be able to afford living in New York, for starters. Okay. How that works, I don't know. But whatever. Anna Delvey Sorkin, quote unquote, lands her own reality show while she's under house arrest. This is an article from Forbes. <laughs> Cue the heavy sighs of confusion. <laughs> <sighs> I am very upset about this <laughs> because if this isn't the most American ass story, I don't really the most know American what it is. white privilege ass. This is the American dream. You I come, so you scam, you this. don't work a day in your life. You lie about working. You lie about having money. So that two people who have money said so they believed you have money, so that they'll give you money. You get caught. Those people still manage to love you because you're a white woman. So even when you go to jail. For scamming people out of all this money, they manage to justify it and love you anyway to the point where they welcome you back. You're able to afford to live in one of the most expensive places to live in this country. Uh, and then you're greenlit for a reality show. And guess what the premise is? Let me read y'all this. Okay. Lord. Anna Sorkin, the fake German heiress known as Anna Delvey, who was convicted of fraud and was accused of scamming her way through elite New York City circles will be subject of a new reality show which will be filmed while she's on house arrest as her immigration case plays out. Called Delvey's Diner Club. Oh, Delvey's Dinner Club. I'm sorry. The series will film inside Sorkin's East Village apartment where she has been living since October when she was released from Immigration and Customs Enforcement custody in New York. <laughs> Sorkin will host dinner parties at her home where actors, musicians, founders, socialites, journalists, and other esteemed guests will eat around a private chef catered table for candid conversations where no topic is off limits and will also feature interviews with Sorkin and her guests. So... So I'm out here sitting on my couch trying to do this Soul Palace shit and trying to get interviews and shit, doing my actual hard, honest motherfucking work. In general, and y'all want to bat an eye. You actually want to low key shadow ban me or whatever the fuck. Instagram don't let us get no damn views or nothing on this motherfucker. And you're going to give the scammy ass, bitch ass, white, she devil ass bitch her own show with artists, musicians, and influencers and, and private shots? Esteemed guests, bro. This country is trash. <laughs> This country is trash. Sum it all up to say. And America, I can't even. America is trash. Because what the fuck are we talking about America right now? Is trash. What are we talking she about? She's about to get like and all 40 million out the bank. Earth is ghetto. I want to leave. Can you mm. pick mm. me mm. up? I'm not on the street by the Pick me up at the car so you, know the you know where it's at. I can't be here no more. Because bitch, what? The fuck are we talking about right that now? That was perfectly queued up. The that fuck? Was great. I was that real was, quick for it. That was great. You had that one ready. <laughs> that joint was in the chamber. <laughs> We're going to put that on the soundboard too because yes. Earth is ghetto as fuck. Earth is ghetto. I, and this country is ghetto where? I don't know what's more ghetto than ghetto. But this country is paying her. She is funded off this Netflix shit. Off her rich friends who don't mind floating her coins. And off getting these fucking de- these TV deals, bro. But here's the thing about it. This was a That's black woman. That's the power never of manifestation. This is a black woman. She'll be locked up. She oh, they be- wouldn't let her ass out this quick. What are you talking about? But fraud is is one of those more lightly charged offenses, though. When they're white. Mm, excuse me, guys. I didn't yeah. mean to be so unladylike. In the <laughs> when they're folks. motherfucking white. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, cause even fraud committed by black folks, we get charged a lot Like, more like we kill somebody. For fucking sure. Meanwhile, we're doing the same thing that y'all do. The fuck, bruh? Like this makes me want to snatch her ass up, <laughs> rob her. I ain't even that type of person, but I definitely rob make her, ass. her ass. Somebody need to pull a cape on her. Pull Listen. a cape on her. Hit her with an ocean's nine. You heard it first, Capri Robinson <laughs> and company. I ain't even that person, but uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> if, if somebody said I know how to get the lick, I'm I'm I'm, I'm like, it. okay. What's my role? What's yeah, my role? What I need to do? I get away. What person? strength are we playing to of mine? <laughs> Let me, know. <laughs> Let me know. Do I need to be like? Do I need to pose as table? like the bartender of the party <laughs> or something? Like I'm the hired help. Ocean Eleven in this bitch. What is going on? What the fuck? The fuck? 
This bitch don't deserve this. We need to take the shit Yo, back. We take our shit back, America. The fuck? <laughs> Robin Hood and this motherfucker. Robin, Robin Nisha. Robin yeah, I'm Robin Robin Nettie. I'm Robin Nettie. I'm Robin Nettie. Ocean's Eleven. Real smart light. We get away with everything Ooh. type shit. The first Girl, one? Check, yes, check your nose. It changed. I can't smell shit. Wow. Okay. So the white port finish, y'all. As it sat... Now I'm getting honey. Now I'm getting Ooh. flowers. Ooh, that sounds nice. Wow. Holy shit. That completely changed. Mmm, I get vanilla. Mmm. Mm. So I, I love to I go might... back. Wow. Understand, Palette changed. Maybe too. what the white port is doing, like. It tastes kind of like a white grape. Almost. Kind of. Yeah, it's like. So, what I can say. About that white port, like, cause you know how white grapes give like that acidity, that earthiness, that yeah. like tart. Like, I feel like something mm. in that realm is trying to like creep you ever out. Had a stroop waffle before? A who waffle? A stroop waffle. So stroop waffles are these um, kind of like cookies that go with your coffee, mm. and they're like waffle, really flat joints. Really flat. You sit it on top, on top of the yes. Yes. I actually, you know what's so funny? Adina so bought good. a box of those because she was just craving them oh, one day so and good. gave me the rest of the box because she was done fulfilling her craving. <laughs> so they've been in my pantry every once in a while. If I'm doing like a cup of coffee or whatever, yeah. I will sit it on top. It's so good. It's really good. It's so tasty. Is that what it's given? For me, like the way that the finish of the uh, whiskey is, mm-hmm. it, it tastes like a stroop waffle for me. Caramel ah, stroop waffle. Stroop waffle. I love them. I never knew this what it was called. Yes. <laughs> I used them on the show too, actually. My last cocktail, I used a stroop waffle. Um, they didn't say that though because they cut so much out. They cut a lot. Oh, okay, we get into the, we, get into the, we get into the we get into the Patreon content, y'all. We are every time yeah. I because every time I stop myself from talking about drink masters, I'm like, okay, this is where yeah, this would be perfect, <laughs> perfect time. <laughs> okay, okay, but I'm working on my interview, my journalist interview questions. <laughs> <for you. laughs> I love it. That's gonna be our first Patreon episode. I love it. All of my like. Drink Masters exclusive. <laughs> Putting on my journalist hat because I did get a degree in it, motherfuckers. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. It's not really taking acting like communication is like this throwaway degree. And it's really not. That's it's why we not. have concentrations. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. And even though my concentration was PR, they also make you take journalism classes at the same time. Oh, well, not that. make you. You can choose. Yeah. So I took both PR and journalism classes. Nice. But, um, but yeah. Love it. So I'm getting, I've got, I've been gathering my questions in my head. I like that. I was like, oh yes, maybe the. I don't know if I'd technically be the first. I know I'm had the best questions out of anybody who's interviewed you so far because <laughs> these people be so surface level with the bullshit. So surface level, like, answering the same question, the same Ooh. fucking question. They want to segue into how do you feel as as oh, the founder of Chocolate Cities Bros? How do you feel a community so and competition and come hand in hand? Just read the other five hundred where I already interviews. spoke on this and as where I was speaking on it before I was on TV to. Speak speak on it because i've been doing this anyway but you know but thank you for that amplification (sighs) of the same message 40 times (laughs) (laughs) appreciate you (laughs) (laughs) i gotta get to my emails emails that (laughs) shit is hilarious long story short fuck anna delvey sorkin scammer whatever the fuck her name is just to bring that back around because I'm so mad. Mm. I'm so mad. I I'm really just am. like I'm I don't just understand. befuddled. I'm bewildered. I don't I'm understand. bewildered. I am. I'm I right. am, but I'm not because that is the, the nature of uh, our country. Is, it is. It's the it's the nature of the human. It is, and I just can't <laughs> though. I'm like too many people are really working hard to break into these different levels. These different. Um, I mean, social climbing. Social is a thing. climbing financial brackets like Mm -hmm. so many people are working so hard to get to these places and y'all giving it to motherfuckers who lied about everything they're giving it to motherfuckers who only worked hard at not working hard like like what they worked hard at mapping out all these lies and these schemes and doing all this work to like like it's very that bitch was stressed out (laughs) but then she wound up coming out of it with the outcome she wanted she had to do a little bit to get it oh my god but like she Jesus. ultimately is getting exactly what she wanted. That she went into jail, dream. famous, 
that's what she wanted. This is American. She for treated real. her trial like a, a fucking influencer opportunity, and got a fucking stylist to style her for every fucking trial appearance, and turned With herself. What money? I'm just giving it to her. Lo- well, loaning, loaning it because she has to get the stylist can get loaned outfits all the time. If they know that the, the outfit's going to get eyeballs, why they get loaned stuff all the time. So she didn't have to pay for it because oh it's going where she can't wear it in the jail. Ugh. Like, girl. Motherfuckers is working. They are working the system. The system is getting worked. I'm, I need to learn. Right. Like, I'm not I'm not a pimp and I'm not a scammer. And apparently, I, I don't like that for me. Because it's just taking much longer apparently, to get to my, my financial American goals. Not like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not American. Yeah, right that's because we are from Africa. But apparently... <laughs> Never mind. I ain't gonna do my black people like that. Shit, because we all know who who who's a, a scammer. We all get scammers. We all know who's known to be scammers, and it's <laughs> not just the white folks. Okay, <laughs> it, it does trace back to the motherland. Not, <laughs> it is not just the white folks, but, but I, I, I guess I'm not tapping into my humanity. <laughs> the right. fuck? We, I guess we're just a different type. Breed Why am I working so hard? I'm working real hard. I'm so sad. I'm not getting the results that I quite not want as quick, as quickly. <laughs> I'm so confused by it. Oh. I just want my soft life right now. Can you just like please? Like if I really could wake up tomorrow with just like a whatever that number is. I don't even know what that number is in terms of in the bank. I don't know what that number is. Cause a million not gonna cut it. Not enough. Not at not at this young big age. Um I don't know whatever that number is. We're gonna figure out that number and manifest that. But if yeah. I just wake up with that in the bank. Yeah. I would only do exactly what the fuck I wanted to do. I'm not sitting here <laughs> aiming for this yeah. number that I'm, that my kids would never be alive when I'm right. spent. Like, yeah, no, I just want to wake up. At that point, I'm buying me a warehouse and putting all the barrels I want in it and just blending my little motherfucking life away. If I want to go <laughs> distill some shit, I'm popping over to whoever I'm elbow rubbing with yeah. to their distillery and getting it off there. And travel. I'm not. I'm not sitting around here in this fucking country with y'all, motherfuckers. I'm not no. doing that. I'm not doing that. But I'm also not about to be out here scamming and and trying to deplete the earth and trying to like find all these ways to just get more, 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 take more, 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 and just not give a fuck about what what wreckage I leave behind the process. Like I don't want to be that type of wealthy person. I'm just like I don't want to be like a shit human wealthy person. Yeah. Like I actually just want to do good shit and kind of just chill and be lazy most of the time not gonna hold you like i want to real life be a, the cat that i am <laughs> wake up and eat and fucking play mm, which would be creating true. for me fucking create eat drink shit sleep i mean yeah wake up and do it again I, what the fuck seriously like, <laughs> like i can be okay with that existence i'm not yeah. gonna hold you seriously. <laughs> and i don't need a take from anybody to do that no to like mind my fucking business and homeschool my kids. Somebody give it to me, please. Give it to me, please. Give it, give it, to, it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. But play. Give it to me. Give, it to me. give hey. me the stuff. That's <laughs> sweet. <laughs> fucking <laughs> soup. Oh. Ow. <laughs> 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 Shit. Oh. <laughs> she had them all. I had to let it go on that one. I, <laughs> I wasn't going to fuck up the thing. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, we need money. <laughs> <laughs> the moral to that story. Oh, you always will. So just send it already. I'm giving it to these white folks. Oh, God. That was great. The moral to that story is we need money. Like, stop giving it to these white people. Stop giving it to these work girls that just, that just take. At least we get back. Let's get into our third set before this next. Right. Um, Okay, before we start sounding like haters, child. <laughs> I am a hater. I'm say, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm hating. I'm hating all the way on Anna the Scammer. The fuck? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I don't even know her real Yo. name. Anna the Scammer will always be. Anna the Scammer. That is her real name. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. <laughs> okay, y'all. Oh so we're on this third sip. You know, this is one of my favorite cast finishes, y'all. We okay. got an Amberana Burl. Yes. So this one is another bourbon. It, no, no, no. We are now in rye. I'm sorry. So we've got a straight rye aged five years and 11 months. 
Um, and this is a take and wear bird pick. This is an amber on a cast finish. They, of course, they don't share how long. Because mm. um, Ray character likes playing with my emotions. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but I'm ready to dive into Bruh. the Because, <laughs> you know, I'm used to getting, like, all the little process. Yeah. The mash is the this. Mash bill. The process was yeah, this. The copper still, pot this. The this. column still this. The, they yeah. got the barrel from here. Pablo, we got questions that need answers. That is, ooh, I'm glad I said that. Sorry, I'm just going to write that down. I ain't going to get y'all all that on mic. <laughs> when I be having these ideas, I just be want to throw them out there real quick. But no, no meow. Ooh. First of all, already my favorite fucking like smell and flavor profile. Mm. Okay, so we're already getting the overripe tropical fruit. Ooh. I'm getting like like a log, but like soaked. Okay. Like wow. soaked wood. Oh, Amber. I'm getting oh, like, man. yeah. No, it smells great. I'm getting soil, but like in a good way. Some minerality there. Like what could be like from like a, you know, a body of water. Nice. Little white pepper. Love it. Mm, some baking spices too. Almost everything but the cinnamon. Huh. Like the allspice, the clove, clove the nutmeg. Crazy. Mm. Oh, it's so nice. That like overripe banana. That's, mm. That sounds like it smells great. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like I need to like leave you a sample bottle of some or something. So like when your smell is back, you could be like, "Oh, Eureka!" Mm. Pops in and out. Mm. Ooh, what candy bar does this remind me of? Wow, this reminds me of like a really popular candy bar that has caramel somewhere in it, mm. and I cannot tell you the name of it right now because it's not a candy bar that I really eat. Mm. But not Milky Way. Mm. Milky Way has caramel? Yeah, it has like it caramel. It does. Milky, the, nougat. the nougat. Is it giving Milky Way? I love Milky Ways. <laughs> mm. And you got Twix. They got caramel in it. And you got... See, Twix, I would be able to call out. Hmm. Maybe it's giving Milky Way. And then it's got like... Mm. It's got this beautiful smoke. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it's cigar smoke for sure. Amberana is just giving cigar smoke easy. Mm -hmm. Mm. More of that overripe banana. I want to say cinnamon. Cinnamon is on the palate for sure. I'm getting fruit peels. Like the outside of a ripe pineapple, not the flesh though. Mm. I get more pepper. Cooked pear for me. Cooked pear with the cinnamon. Mm. It's definitely some fruit. Here. Some kind of fruit with the cinnamon. That mm-hmm. way. And that's so interesting because I'm looking at my tasting chart from when I first tasted this. Yeah. I didn't get fruit on the palate when I first tasted it. Oh wow. That's what I'm saying. I like going back to stuff. Nice. Because I had I clocked the spice. Yeah. I clocked a little bit of texturally like influence from grain. Yeah. I clocked. The cacao nib. But that was really all I was getting. Wow. When I say pear, I think, I'm thinking those canned pears. Yeah. I definitely get that. Because that syrupiness. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Hmm. That is interesting. That just goes to show, y'all. Always go back to your bottles. Mm. Crack them open. A second and third and fourth and fifth time. Taste it with people. Yeah, seriously. Because these whiskeys progress and evolve in the bottle. The second we open them, not like a wine where a wine's going to go bad and get all tart and weird. Right. Whiskey just evolves in the glass. It mellows out. Some things intensify. Love something that. completely new happens. I don't even, and I even add water. Ooh. Look at God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We jumping out there. We went seven drops. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it. Was it was a moment. Love Ooh. it. More spice came out in the nose. Like yeah. Immediately. I can taste that. that baking spices. Oh, 
a little bit of a mash for this one. Oh, look. Look at Gossy. Oh, I ain't even. <laughs> my bad, y'all. That was my fault. Oh, what? no, no, no. I lied. This is the obliteration I'm looking at. Okay. Oh. Never mind. Sorry. Never, never Forgive mind. Me. I thought guys. we had more information. I was going to say, holy shit, did I miss it? <laughs> no, I didn't miss it. I had just already moved on to the fourth set. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. So I probably did get free this last one. Okay, let's see. I'm done with those biggest prices. With the water. Mm -hmm. Wow. Brought out more sweet. Mm -hmm. Like, that caramel and vanilla just amplified, though. Ooh. That's what it is. Because it was more of, a, it was more of an like, undercurrent on the palate at first. Yeah. Now, it's competing with those fruit notes and that, like, funk. Mm -hmm. mm. I think that's why I'm thinking, like, a pastry in my mind. It's, mm -hmm. like, cinnamon with some kind of stone fruit. Or mm -hmm. not even stone fruit, but, like, a pear or apple. Yeah. With, like, baked goods. Yeah, I could definitely <laughs> see that. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of baked goods happening to y'all. Yeah. Y'all y'all over here, rare character, y'all tend to lean towards the baked good flavor profile. I'm down for it. So, I love that. I mean, I'm here for it. I love yeah. it. Y'all could make, like, a whole thing out of that. <laughs> legit, legit. Like, guess uh, this pastry or something. Like, I don't know. It's good. Mm. I mean, I love an Amberana finish. I haven't had one yet that I don't like, yeah. so. Kind of biased when it comes to that so far. That's so awesome. But. And Delicious. Are really, really cool. So, y'all, <sighs> the world else being the damn you? world again and always. Um, oh. If you ever heard about Tyree Nichols, um, black man that just passed away again from police brutality. Um, mm, and here is the unique situation, unique situation of this part is that all five of the officers that were in part of his beating in eventual death are black men. This happened in Memphis, Tennessee. So white. Yep. And um, of course, you know, Instagram's going crazy. We're all going a little bit crazy. And um, what's interesting about this conversation now, so of course we're talking about police equals violence. That's just what that is. Police equals anti-blackness. We already know that. Mm -hmm. Police equals a gang, which we also know. Yep. But what's getting very interesting about this is the way that people are responding to this in versus how they respond to when it's white police officers. Mm -hmm. Where we're seeing the the words of like this is a monstrosity or this is like savagery or whatever happening because these were black men instead of it being like, oh, it might have been an accident or he deserved what he deserved when it comes to being with white cops, which is ridiculous. <laughs> not only not only that, the immediate firing of all five That's what I was gonna mm -hmm. of these. It was not a let's put him on suspension until it cools down. It was not it was let's no investigate de this. It's no defense of these officers. It was literally all the not only did they get fired, they're also all charged with murder and kidnapping. And this has happened the, the turnaround time for all of these actions that have followed few weeks. since it few weeks. And let me just, here's my main feeling in regards to this, because it's, it's without needing to be said how we feel about yet another black man, <laughs> yet another innocent, innocent black man, a, from what we have heard, a very beautiful, free spirited human being, yet another one fucking stifled, killed, beaten, just for treated, nothing. treated like less than a fucking human being for nothing. He Literally did, he did, for he did nothing. nothing. He did nothing. But here's my overall thing. The the world is always going to remind you Uncle Tom ass, self-hating ass, disgusting, horrific, turncoat ass individuals who of with melanated skin decide to throw on these fucking uniforms mm -hmm. and hide behind this fake sense of security mm -hmm. because you wasn't shit as a kid nobody made you feel or made your <laughs> ego feel like you were worth anything 
you turn around, throw on a fucking cop uniform and think that you're above it all. But guess what? Everyone just reminded you. You're still a nigga in the eyes of America with three Ks. Period. And I want y'all to feel that in the depths of your disgusting souls. Literally. Because it is bullshit. It. Why would it take y'all know better than the bitch ass motherfuckers that in what school are we talking about? who really weak as fuck individually, but decide to join together in your fucking in your common denominators of weakness and jump other people? My question is, how many people have they been jumping? Right. You know, maybe this is not the first one that. Oh, it can't be. Can't be the first. They've definitely can't done be. it where people probably have it was not blatant. Died. It was blatant. Yeah, people probably haven't died. So they probably beat, beat him up fucking to near death and in the in the police officer community, they'll cover some shit like that up. Absolutely. They'll make it the victim's fault. Absolutely. And, and frame them as a criminal who was resisting or who, you know, whatever they use Absolutely. to apply and throw at it, right? Oh, but they're not gonna let you bring them to bring their stats down. No. As unconvicted murders fucking executed by the police department. Oh, like, no, no, no. They have to preserve that fund for their white police officers that are out here murdering black people. They can't also stretch the budget to cover you, yuckers. Like, what? You, yuckers? That's what y'all thought? This is America, baby. Wow, like, I just don't understand. Like. So, hmm. one of the gentlemen, Demetrius Haley, was, uh, had, uh, been charged already with assault in a, on a incarcerated person in 2015. Mm-hmm. Anger problems. Pattern. And the victim okay. said that he was the most vicious officer involved in his assault and could have killed him. He said he reported blacking out and sustaining permanent ear damage from this gentleman. Wow. Like. And these are the people that you keep in the force. Okay. And he was promoted to a police officer despite this incident. Like, he was probably about? promoted to a police officer because of that incident. Oh, there all there's always a bigger picture to how they're gonna util- use those that are willing to be used. Like what? For sure. Oh, they figure. Oh, oh great, Lord. he'll do it for us. Can't look bad on us if they're doing it to themselves. Yeah, like, that's always how they try to manipulate that that optic. Oh, so they tried to bring Omega Sci Fi into this. Mm-hmm. Is that the cues? Uh, yep. Why it, do I, I think know so. that? I don't uh, Mega Sci Fi Ada Zeta. I don't know. Oh, the oh, Ada Zeta chapter at University of Mississippi. Okay. And it has been involved in several violent hazing scandals. And so mm. that's. I'm, I've never been Greek. I never wanted to be Greek. I don't give a fuck about being Greek. Likewise. And as part of it is because of this random shit. Yeah, once it. Bro, <laughs> bless you. So like, when I was in college, I considered it for two seconds only because I never had a close. Of a person who look at Greek life or anything, I've only, I only had to go off what I saw on TV. Like, and so, you know, on TV, they kind of downplay, depending on what you're watching, like, the the nature of hazing. And so, in school, once I actually, like, had friends who were pledging and doing, rushing and doing all, all that shit, all that Greek shit, particularly my guy friends, and they, I'm just hearing all the stories about the like the type of hazing and like like they're falling behind in their grades because they're not getting any sleep they're getting called at all hours of the night all yep. hours of the day yep. like to do all this dumb shit half the motherfuckers that cross wound up not even being able to fucking stay in classes the next semester yeah and wound up in debt before classes they didn't even pass and got to retake because they were so busy pledging the thing and being was, treated like dog shit it's 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 the classic it's the classic must break a person's mind down to pretty much yeah. brainwash them with this brotherhood and bonding through trauma. Yeah. Like, it's, and it's, I was dating a guy who, like, he was a year ahead of me. He was pledging while we were dealing yeah. with each other. And, I mean, they were being physical with them, like, yeah. beating them and shit. Like, yeah. it's like, I'm not, he couldn't tell me much, but he could Still tell me enough. Day, nobody will tell you what the fuck they've been Cause through. Because there's a certain level of secrecy they have to, like, you know, yeah. if you're serious about that shit, you committed to it, you drink the Kool Aid. <laughs> And what a dangerous Kool Aid that is, because you can flunk out, get your ass beat, have your back broke. Y'all, that's trauma, y'all. It's trauma. 
Like, it is. And it's not supposed say, to happen. <laughs> y'all are not supposed to be you getting hate talk all damn day like, about, like, this is what you got to go through. It's not a rite of passage. But do y'all know y'all doing this just to be a part of something that's supposed to be community building? It's supposed to be a brotherhood slash sisterhood. That makes no sense. Why am I trying but to But your brethren you is this? about to beat the dog shit out you? That doesn't make any sense, y'all. That's actually not okay. Make it make you sense. You don't want it from your family, but you want it so that you can have these letters? That's the thing. Y'all don't want don't, y'all parents beating on y'all. That. Like or the next know, man over, like like if a motherfucker came yeah. at you with a paddle on a regular day, you beating that ass, and or you, you at what? least gonna try. I don't know if Clyde was Clyde. Is Clyde a Greek? I we need to find somebody know, actually. I need to be who's of that life. Someone yeah. to try to convince me on why it's even I worth have, it. I mean, I got some buddies who were who are Greek. There's nothing. I don't that, think nothing about through, it was worth. They're it not of a generation that went through the hazing piece. No. Um, Oh um, no! And then but no. I, I have some friends who did. I can no. see who I can. Let me see who I can scrounge. Yeah, because I think I feel like I need At to talk about Greek life. Yeah, it is. We really should. It has never sat right with me personally. You know, I have good friends and Judy's that mm-hmm. have gone through their thing. Deltas, mm-hmm. aka me too. Iotas, Qs, mm-hmm. Sigmas, whatever. Divine Nine. I got friends through it all, mm-hmm. but I have yet to be convinced. I have yet that to be it was really actually worth it. Like, no, I know there's a fucking Delta. I, there we go. Yeah, yes. Who we'll has her? Who we'll has her? Something. Maybe have like one other person, or we'll uh, have her. Maybe Mr. Man is Iota. Mm, okay. <laughs> And he told me already. He can't tell me everything. I'm like, you can tell me something. Yeah, see, they be. <laughs> I'm telling you, they be sworn to it. It's a different type of secrecy around that thing. It's weird. It, but it's, it, I get it, but it's weird. I actually don't get it. I actually don't get it. At all. I don't get I it. I don't get it. I can't say that I get it because I don't. The more that I talk to Brian about it, because he's a Kappa. Right. And he's also a Mason. And like, so he's very much in the like organizations secret and things. Yes. Shit. Secret society things. <laughs> and so he gets all of it and like where it started from, the intentions behind it and all of that. Yeah. He explained it more to me when we were at the African American Museum. But it, somehow it got strayed away from the actual intentions initially of course as most things course. do as most things do but i'm gonna have him break it down for me again yeah fuck it let's bring right up break it down for me again because yeah i just i need some, some I context need some but context. i also need like context from someone who's close to our age and has experienced this yeah. like tarnished version of pledging and all this hazing and all that type of stuff yeah. so gonna try to find them people also if you happen to be in the washington dc metropolitan area and have experienced this greek life yeah let us and know and are willing to talk about it i mean y'all can hit us up at so at gmail.com we want to know for or whatever real. so you know. i want to get into why it, i mean i get the importance afterwards i do but it's like is it really worth that f- three months? Maybe some people go through this yeah. shit. Two, three of months of like a just, semester, maybe. Yeah, basically a semester. Like, yeah, of, of craziness. <laughs> you can't walk through front doors. You can't go to common areas. You can't like. It's just a lot of. You can't shit. see people. Like certain shit, you're not supposed to be no, able to watch. I'm too fr- like I'm too free. I'm th- no, mm-mm, no. It's a lot. No, it's an all. It's too much. It's an all for me. It's an honor with it or no. <laughs> you know, that's your bond. You'll have that for the rest of your life. I get it. I guess. Unless they kill you first. <sighs> that's happened too. But so going back to this. Back to our original point. Yeah, because they were just bringing that up, I guess. as like Trying to tie it into a motherfucking black fraternity tied. to try to don't not, do that. Because that ain't got that. nothing to do with that. Unless he's been doesn't. holding on to some anger from being hazed how yeah. many years ago in his motherfucking life. I mean, yeah, no. I think it's I much mean, deeper than that. Some people probably do internalize that shit. And Absolutely, like, but it still be. came before that. Because yeah. the fact that he internalized it and kept doing it yeah. means that there is some other shit from his childhood that makes him feel like well, either that's just right. normal and that's how it goes. You just eat shit and people beat you and you move on. Yeah. Or who knows, child? I'm not even about to try to psychoanalyze your miserable, violent, disgusting, murderous ass. Because right. I don't give a fuck if you're black, white, Asian, Latin. I don't give a goddamn. Wow. If you are a shit human, you are a shit human. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. And fuck all of you. So then these five officers were a part of a unit called the scorpion unit Mm. which encouraged police to be more aggressive towards reckless drivers what and the chief created this unit in 2021 
and she, mind you, the chief is a black woman. Mm-hmm. She instructed the officers to write less tickets and to seize more vehicles. If what that does that do? Like, that sounds like you're trying to sell cars. First of all, <laughs> mind you, also what are you seizing more vehicles in for? the midst of a time where we're in a car shortage. So what is it y'all trying to do? What seize these motherfuckers that do? they can't afford to keep their cars so that they just go back into the rotation. Of motherfucking cars that can get, you know, auctioned off and whatever, whatever dealerships can buy their cars back for a way cheaper price than if the person who bought it actually bring it back himself. Like, it's just so much deep shit. Yeah. The Scorpion, the so people, activists and organizers in Memphis have been talking about how aggressive this Scorpion unit has been and warned that the Scorpion's violent pullovers, though so that this is not the first motherfucking time, targeted mm. poor communities of color. Of like course. they always will do. Of course. Of course. Because they not beating no white person up. Nope. Not not a white person with resources. Literally. Because the, 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 the difference, there's access to resources. So, the body cam footage shows that appears to be a white officer mm. tasing Nichols. Two mm. other officers were being investigated. Mm. Did y'all hear that? The mm. uh, two other officers are being investigated. A.K.A. the and white officers. And have been suspended. A.K.A. the white officers. So guess what? They just showed you. Black Some man. infractions are less egregious than others. Guess what? They showed you, black man. Hmm. You're still a nigga. Ciao. If we. Hmm. <laughs> you may wear the blue, but guess what? You're still a nigga. There's so much more in these slides, but I just can't even. I can't even. Y'all, feel free. I know y'all not living under no rock. There's enough circulating about this shit. Just like, Educate what your are we fucking talking selves. About? What's the man to see us talking about? Okay, so sorry. They were trying to say something oh. about COVID. What did okay. say? Something about COVID 19. I don't know what the fuck's going on. COVID got to do with y'all kids. Nothing. <sighs> the initial statement about the brutal assault was watered down account of what actually occurred. The language used in the statement seems to be a nod to COVID 19 sy- symptoms, shortness of breath. To absolve the cops of the direct effect of their actions had on Nicole's critical oh, condition. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Don't try to blame Omicron for y'all beating the shit like, out that man we- to the point where he couldn't breathe. <gasps> what? This tactic, indirectly or directly alluding to the victim's prior health complications, was wow. also used to undermine the role police played in the death of Eric Garner. Which is exactly what they tried to do it with Eric Garner and with motherfucking George Floyd trying to claim that he was on drugs prior to getting his ass choked for nothing. almost 10 minutes. None of this shit has anything to do with the fact that you committed murder, period. Not manslaughter, murder. So we're going to see what Amanda Seals got saying. So the White House has now released a statement about oh, the brutality of the diary. Oh, God. Sleepy Joe, what you Nichols do? Nichols video. Mm. It's the lack of acknowledgement the comprehensive context within this within which this takes place mm. that's what's getting to me but just for the record <laughs> the irony makes me laugh because they're saying that this is the most brutal example that they've ever seen of policing and for the record we have seen george floyd literally choked to death in front of us mm-hmm. i also just find it odd because I can't help but feel like there is something being attached to these cops who are absolutely horrible people, but but are also black men. Yeah. And there is mm-hmm. an inhumaneness being attached to them that has not been attached to the myriad of white cops before them that have behaved in inhumane manners. Literally. I mean, and we can also just yeah. acknowledge that we have seen inhumanity over and over again. Over. Like, they was out here lynching folks and having picnics. Yeah, like, what are we talking about? Okay. The term drawn quartered, does that ring a bell? And also, why... Why are they announcing, like, it's a Netflix <laughs> drop? Versus. Nah, really, though. Really like, it's though. a new versus. That's true. So the White House. Because, it, so, when things like this happen... Hmm. When things like this happen, I cannot, I can only feel that it was a setup. Oh, for sure. That's what it's giving. That's what it's giving. I can only feel like. It's giving like, 
Why are people tired of the narrative being that white police officers are out here killing black folks? Let's look around. And so now they want to perpetuate. They could not wait. Could not wait to perpetuate the narrative. Oh, look. Y'all do it to each other, too. Oh, look. Black cops do it, too. It's not just us. Literally. Literally. So why can't, why can't we kill y'all if y'all kill y'all? That's always been the thing. Yeah. That's always been a, a, an attempt to justify why the dehumanization and fucking disposing of our bodies. But now they're doing, trying to do it from the perspective of, well, look, black cops are killing black people too. So now what are y'all going to say? Right. Do black lives matter to black people? Because these black cops don't care about that black life. It's set up. It's set up. Because I agree, like, the fact that we, like, were waiting for the footage to drop, like, that's weird. I wasn't waiting for shit. I, I haven't seen it. Shit. I'm not I'm gonna, not gonna see it. it. I don't wanna no, see it. I'm good. I don't need to see it to believe it. I'm okay. I believe it already. Yeah. I don't, I'm not a glutton for trauma. No. I don't need, no, no. The fuck? No. I have a tall ass 18 year old black man. My yeah. brother, I don't need to see no shit like that no. to be even having that thought in my fucking no. mind. It imprinted even more than it already is. Literally. That's the last thing I'm going to fucking indulge in. Literally. We're fucked up. But not only that, right? So we got these shit going on. Black men. I'm pretty sure. I'm, it's, sorry. I just, my conspiracy stuff is telling me it's about yeah. fucking set up. Um, also, I can't believe those other officers were just suspended. But that's just crazy. Because you're still a nigga. Oh, my God. They, I but mean, not only that, what else do y'all need to fucking, to seal the point, okay? Well, supposedly it's black women and we are to blame. Now black women are to blame. Now the women blame. Like, no, police. play it. No, play it. Go ahead, play it. Because I know they're going. And that's what they got going on in the Memphis Police Department. They've elected some, uh, or put mm. some black woman in charge of the police force. And we're getting the some same kind of chaos. Black woman. And disunity and violence that we see in a lot of these cities that are run by single mothers. If we want to discuss the breakdown of faith that leads to disrespect for authority that causes you to resist the police and run from the police and not comply with the police because you resist authority at all times because there was no male authority in your home. Now how the fuck? I don't even know how to That was a black man saying I don't even know how to box. Fucking like a fucking box. For what happened to Tyree Nichols? How in the entire, you know what? You know what? See, this why I ain't go nowhere. This why I ain't go nowhere in March, y'all. This why, this why, the, see, 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 see. And who was it saying that? Who, who was it? Good old black it? motherfucker. Okay, Good so old Uncle Tom black motherfucker. Responsible for themselves. And what black woman was responsible for all the other police misconduct? Literally. Hmm. Huh? When the police chief is a uh, mm. Caucasian woman or a Caucasian man and they're beating the snot out of folk and they're shooting un- unarmed people and unaliving people, what black woman is responsible for that? What? Just, ooh. It's, it's crazy because it's like, even when black men do some shit, Black women are going to be responsible for it. They're going to find a way to How? hold They're gonna find black a way. women accountable for the shit. Y'all, I'm over I'm through. Too through. I, 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 Earth is ghetto, and I'm fucking through. Period. Earth is ghetto. Listen, I want to leave. Now, please tell me what the fuck, one, what black women have to do with this, what? and two, what black Single moms have to do with this. You owe no neck having, receding hairline, old chap lip, Listen. chap neck, Listen. ashy knuckle dragon motherfucker. Listen. You have the nerve, the unfucking adulterated gall. Like, to sit there and say some black woman, you better put some motherfucking respect on her position for starters. One. My guy, you are just some black anchor. Period. You are just some melanated talking head that they're using to push points like, that we, really white people feel but want to use your fucking black neck to do it. What are we talking about? And that's exactly what you play into. Like, what are we really talking about? Fucking like, on ugh. all these cities run by single mo- What the fuck does that mean, bro? What the fuck and does that really And don't you dare try mean? to insult 
one something that's a circumstance it's not even like a lifestyle choice it's a it, circumstance it, literally that this country has not only perpetuated but directly facilitated purposely facilitated systematically facilitated and you're so dense and so dumb and so gullible for thinking that there's anything that'll benefit you out of behaving that way outside of potentially financially because I don't see what other ways that you could benefit possibly from this. Spiritually, you won't. You'll definitely be looking at what whatever hell looks like. You'll be there. Listen. If you're not there already because only God knows what's happening with you in your personal life for you to spew such miserable fucking lies into the earth the way that you are. Period. Like... Listen, <laughs> look, 2023. I ain't gonna play with 2023. Right I'm playing. Here's the thing about it: every year comes with this bullshit. Uh, I'm not playing. And with you every right now. year comes with a reaction to the bullshit. I'm not gonna be playing with you right now. But here's what I know: single moms ain't got shit to do with this. Black women don't got shit to do with this. Black women ain't got shit to do As with a whole, this. This has nothing. to do this is not, with racism. Do with this. this has to do with patriarchy. This has to do with toxic masculinity. Has this to has to do with a failed system. fucking system. Well, with a successful system that was put in place to perpetuate race, racist feelings, behaviors, all the things. Always. Y'all already know. I ain't even got to spew all the rest of that shit at Why y'all. Why keep acting like it's not the police? It's like the, the system isn't systeming. The system is systeming the way that the system makers wanted it to system. Period. <laughs> like the fuck? If that made any sense. Does any of it make any sense? No. Like, <laughs> the system is systeming, bitch. <laughs> the Period. system is systeming. The system of the down, bitch. I don't know. System of the down. <laughs> oh, God. It's giving title. Like, what the fuck? fuck? The system own. just wants us down. Jesus okay? Christ. It's the system of the motherfucking down. <sighs> Rest in peace, Tyree Nichols. Rest in peace, Tyree. We are so sorry that you have to be yet another lamb sacrificed in this journey that is Rachel Justice. And when Capisha Captain came on to talk about she had never seen nothing so egregious in her career. Yes, you have seen it. Bitch, to make it to where you are in your career, we alive, you had to see it all. You had Emmett to. And Till is the perfect example, will always be the perfect example of how this shit plays out. Mm-hmm. Period. Yep. That that alone, I don't even want to say that that was police officers that, that beat mm-hmm. him up, but like Every time I see a situation, but they like felt this, the need to police that boy. Exactly, they felt the need to police that boy, and the family gave him up to save themselves. Like they knew that that boy wasn't coming back. <sighs> All that begging and pleading, just you could say you begged and pleaded. By the time you get to talking to his mother, yeah, no. come on now, yeah, no, Mm-mm. no, Mm-mm. they have his casket in an uh, African American museum. I know it's beautiful. What's up? It was a sad situation. Yeah, it was up? beautiful, and you know it was. One thing that was that got me about that visit that stuck with me is that they put the mom's quote up and she literally was like, whatever was going on down in the South had nothing mm. to do with her. Nothing to do with her. And when I tell and that you, shit was crazy. She had been holding off on sending him down to Mississippi for so long. Finally decided to send him for a summer and never got him back. <sighs> because they were living in like Chicago, so yeah. it wasn't the same. No. And he... You know, sitting there, but you know, thinking shit is sweet, like in Chicago. Yeah. So, you know, as sweet as sweet can be back then. But yeah, everything in her kept her from sending him down to Mississippi. Yeah, until she thought he was old enough to get it. You got a code switch. Yeah, this ain't Chicago. He didn't get it. She should have went with him. Period. Or not sent them. Never, never sent them. I want to send them. Yeah, if I was living back in that day and I had a child and we were staying in a place where we can comfortably be black, yeah. as comfortable as we could be, I'm not sending my baby to the South. I'm not sending myself to the South. I'm yeah. not going Not to at the all. Because if I have to go in order for me with my own eyes to know that you're going to be safe, it ain't worth sending I'm you. I'm not going. So, but you know, it happened and rest in peace to all the black folk that have died Rest in peace to everybody who has died senselessly. the system. That uh, yeah, right. Who was died at the hands of a country that simply doesn't see you as a human being, Ooh, and, the that, African American and that never great. has. The African American museum is great. I only did it's, it's only a did lot, the bottom part. Great. I have to go back and do the top part, and then I have to do it all mm-hmm. over again. Mm-hmm. Now that okay, so I've finally done every floor. Yeah, I do want to go back now and just go through the whole thing in one swoop because mm. um, I kind of technically did that the last time I went with me and Robin with Brian, and his daughter. 
but we went through the the top layers kind of fast. Yeah, I want to go back through those more because yeah. we, me and Rob, when we went by ourselves, we went through the bottom floor in depth, like to yeah. the point where I was overwhelmed. I was ready to go. Yeah, so it I was like so uh, much. I was like, this is a lot of information to process, and there's a lot of white there's people in here. There's a lot of and now every white person I'm looking at, I want to like punch them in the. Throat. I literally left like we built all this shit. Yep. We built this shit. And I was like getting annoyed just looking at all the white people were, like walking around like this is some like novelty thing. And I'm yeah. just kind of like, y'all are so far removed from the fact that this still permeates through. This is the reason why we are here. This is the re- today. Like, this is why. This but is let why. it be the Holocaust Museum. Y'all motherfuckers in tears. Just blows my mind. Yeah. Blows my mind. So the white people in there were definitely like, oh, look, that's the Tulsa riots. Like. Do y'all realize the reality of the Tulsa riots look, and look, what took place? Like, look, look. You know what got me the most about that is the pure normalization of human fear and pain and screams that white people have. Mm hmm. It was literally the fact that they were literally yep. okay and probably enjoying dismembering people. Yep. Skinning them. Oh, baby. Skinning them. Oh, baby. Raping them. This was literally a source Nothing of made entertainment. Them cringe. People were literally treating this shit like dinner theater back in the day. Nothing made them cringe. And no. I mean, like. They could eat a fucking turkey leg of the core, and a side of pheasant and watch that shit. It is the most animalistic thing about our human nature. Yeah, is our violence, mm-hmm. and I just like when I was just walking unnecessary through, I was like, violence. I'm because cringing. There are animals who are violent when they have to be for survival, right? right? Like it is a violent act to hunt and kill oh, wait, something. Let's go. Okay, well, yeah. it is a violent act to hunt and kill something, but out of survival, if you don't hunt and kill that thing, you won't eat in the jungle or something just, like that, right? We do a bunch of violent and, and fucking insanely animalistic and savage acts simply because we have the capability to do so. Period. It is, it's not it's so even sick. a means of survival. It's so sick. It is the worst thing about us. Like doing that shit, throwing people in a fucking audi- an us. auditorium for motherfuckers who've declared themselves by some version of God that doesn't exist to be at this higher level than the remainder of these people just- utilizing these bodies as a means of entertainment. In the name of the of the of the throne. Random ass. In the name of the monarchy. Ran- <laughs> like what? Who the fuck is the monarchy? Why do I give a fuck about y'all Child. enough to throw my own body in front of a bull or in front of a horse or in front of a javel or whatever the fuck else weird shit like this? It's always been weird like this. I'm just like, how and why? The system be Humans system. are weird. We are fucking horrible. But we have too much weird. awareness for our own good. Mm-hmm. And the awareness makes us weird. Too much and not enough at the same time. And not enough at the same time. Because we have awareness of what we want to have awareness of. But there's doesn't seem there's not this universal awareness of everyone's connectedness to one another. Yeah, boom. Everyone still the feels like yeah, the, the actual humans. we're aware of everything except for the actual humanity piece. <laughs> Just make any sense. Like you don't realize we're literally all connected within the same fiber that is the universe, and that one thing is a literal domino effect on a million other things, whether you're going to feel it from that initial motion or if you're going to feel it 20 moves down the line, however that works out and how it gets to you. Like, oh, man. the lack of, I don't even, it's not foresight, just the lack of just a vision of the bigger picture period yeah the fact that motherfuckers still or just in general feel so strongly about like the separation of countries and shit right like we're only separated by countries because of colonialism like it's It's not because the the earth was made that way like oh this section is going to be the americas this section is going to be antarctica this section is going to be asia this section is going to be like no, that's not how that happened. Mm-hmm. It's not what that's not what God did in my Khaled voice. God did not. When I was looking at, <laughs> I was going through like the Louisiana Purchase. And I was just like, y'all started purchasing land that didn't belong to you. Land buying it for people it's who don't even own concept. it. How do you purchase land for somebody who don't even own it? And like, 
and like <laughs> no one owned it. It was no land. one owned it. It was just land. You occupy your square and you get the fuck on and you live with the other species just, around. It was just you. land because it was there. It's just here. Who was the person I'm gonna build right now? That's what the fuck I need. To, I need to have a fucking Patreon episode with the Lord or something because I just need to know who was the person that the won land. that bought land, but like. Who established the first concept of currency, mm-hmm. like, in order to exchange this thing for land? I mean, I know that bartering kind of started it, right. right? Like, I will trade you protection from my military for a piece of land on your whatever. But, like, who established currency? Who the fuck gave currency all this validation and said, yes, we'll take this as payment for such... I guess maybe it started with gold. Oh, Lord. Universe, are you talking to me? <laughs> Uh, but I just want to know, like, and who was the person who said, I own this plot of land, you have to buy it from me? And who enforced it around that person? I don't know. In order for someone to say, well, fine, I'll give you this blank of value for your land that you actually don't even own, and I could snatch it if I was violent enough. I get, I don't know. It's a well, cycle. It's My head hurts. It's not even like you can hold it. Like, it's just land. It's just land, bro. Like, I feel like I kind of answered this in my own head already because between yeah, the digging and then you find metals, you realize those metals are precious for whatever yeah. reason that those metals are precious and for. I'm then on top you of want more mine. of that. It's mine. I'm living on this resource. It's mine. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, I'll well, give I you so-and-so for access to your resource. I don't want to buy that resource now. I'm going to take it. Slaughter. Pillage. Yeah, that's pretty much another one. Damn. Yep. Yeah. Just answered that question. <laughs> That's depressing, guys. That's like, fuck. <laughs> Damn. It's so, it's it took a dark turn. That's how that shit went down. <laughs> Because that's what that's what also kind of got me in the in the museum was like how they talked about how slavery was supposed to be a temporary thing, kind of like yep. ser- indentured servitude. Yep. But because they saw that their crops and stuff and their money was raising, they decided to start being like, "No, I need these motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Not sell them to me anymore. No, I need them. And you, you're no longer a king. You, you are, are no now longer a king. Now you are an indentured mine. servant. You are property now." So that I like that they were able mm. to give that uh, perspective of how it became mm-hmm. a human thing to property mm-hmm. and how it's changed since, or how it stayed the same pretty much since. Yeah, I mean, it just got flipped into uh, African bodies or just another commodity like cotton. <sighs> it's the means to to the end. Mm. Black um. History is really a horror film. Yeah. And, you know. It really is. With joy and com- comedy in between, but overall. It's a fucking horror film. It's a Jordan Peele film. Like shit. Essentially. Because it's full of confusion. And insanity. And, and fucking insanity. <laughs> and references that take you a while <laughs> to fucking to get. figure out. <gasps> but to go. Okay, so I kind of want to get to a lighter note because this got real sad. It got real um, sad. You people. <laughs> was so <laughs> good. <laughs> It was so good. Okay, let's do our fourth sip and talk okay, about you people. Yeah, okay. And we'll end the show with that. Mm. But yeah, y'all. y'all know I love that white man, Jonah Hill. Okay. <laughs> Let me just say that. Let me start there. <laughs> and let's get to this fourth motherfucking okay, sip. Because I do want to talk about you people. I watched it immediately. Oh, uh, yeah, we did too. I woke Rob and everything unintentionally, but still. <laughs> I ain't turned it down. <laughs> okay, so y'all, fourth sip. Is the the fucking humdinger of the <laughs> of the lineup? <laughs> it is rare characters obliteration bourbon. Now, for those who are already in the whiskey community, yeah, y'all have definitely seen this, heard about it. Probably looked at the price tag and said, "Fuck no!" <laughs> I'll wait till I get to so and so's house. But here we are. <laughs> so, obliteration. <laughs> Is a 14 year old bourbon with a mash bill of 75214 corn, rye, malted barley. Okay. Um, it is sourced out of Indiana. Maybe I'm cheaper. And usually. It, it is, usually. And it is a proof of a whopping 143.8, aka 144 people proof. Talk about a his meat. I mean, technically, wow. this is not this is not the highest I've tried. The highest I've tried is still one fifty and something. Um, I gotta look at that bottle that Frank gave me. I don't know if that one's more, but either way, bruh, 
it's insane. I'm going to start it with water. Bruh. I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. You saw me go for it. And I was like, should I just try? Yep. Nope. We're going to start that with water. 143.8. Yeah. Give me all of it. Squoosh. I can get another one. Full, full I know that one wasn't what you wanted. <laughs> Squoosh. Yeah. I'm need some more, but we'll see. Yeah, I think my little seven drops probably not going to be enough. <laughs> it smells like a straight cedar closet. You think this will open me up? Yeah, right. Might have to take a deep whiff. <laughs> you might be like, bitch, what? <laughs> I'm trying, child. Whew, okay. Now, I could tell you, first thing I smell is acetone. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a nail salon. Because that is the very first thing I smell. But so, for those who don't necessarily know why you would get that smell, if you've ever felt like you smell nail polish remover while you are sniffing oh. anything, that is a result of the um, esters from the distillation process and they're really not meant to be there yeah um but it can be an indication of just how much ethanol like how much alcohol content is in it but yes well goddamn thing Ooh, chow let me find out i'm gonna have to do a full squash so i get whew, like i said straight cedar closet like yeah. as if a closet just got built and this is before they like do the painting and all the things like wow all the fucking sawdust is still flying wow. around in the air Oh Lord Jesus! Ooh. And oh, then Lord. I feel like cherry might be trying to fight its way out. Perhaps. I'm Perhaps. Gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for a taste. Ooh. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. I got really like deep dark chocolate, like almost like my cacao truffle, but not quite enough sweet for me to call it a truffle. But it's trying to get there. Ooh. Okay. Let's see what's given. Y'all Capri's face for the for the people who are not on the tube. <laughs> uh, <and hot. laughs> Ooh, wow. Mm. That was a ride. Ooh, wow. Okay. Yes, definitely a ride. More Ooh. on the palate than I'm getting on the nose. I'll say that. Spice, definitely there. Uh, Heat's definitely there. Ooh, wow. Wow. And then a cooling effect at the end. There's a cooling effect at the end. I still get that cacao nib. Oak spice is like unavoidable. Yeah. Like 14 years. I mean. Mm. I can't taste a goddamn thing. Wow. I can't taste it's a thing. I can't smell a thing. Peppery as fuck. Somewhere under there's an undercurrent of cinnamon. Ooh, chow. Ooh. And so, for y'all who are interested in this bottle, there are just a definitely few some left. Cherry. Definitely some cherry. So, you guys, there was only only thirty six bottles. Of this was made. Good. Jesus. This was distilled by a popular distillery Ooh. in Kentucky, honey. I'm not going to say because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to. It's ridiculous. Um, holy God. See, so yeah, there's only 36 bottles of this available. So was this still what they get from NGP? I mean, what did they get from Indiana? That was the um, Amberana finish. Oh. I thought you said this one. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Bitch. It says Source Indiana. Okay, yeah. What? He just said. He said some shit in there. A Kentucky to So look, anyway. like I said, this is why I don't be saying nothing in fucking know. cement because we don't know. That's time. why I like knowing the ins and outs of a process, yeah. like from where it was distilled, how much of it was distilled here, how much of it was yeah. distilled there, because this could very well still be a blend. Yeah. So who the fuck knows? But we got the mash, we got the year, we got the proof, and we got the heat. Goddamn. It's my right now, so I can't breathe through it. Damn, I don't even hear no air coming out. Shit. Whew. I understand. It's a long finish. There's a little bit of concentrated cherry on that finish. I actually didn't get any fruit from this last time I tried it. I think I did less water last time too, though. I definitely, when I first tried this, I tried this without any water because I'm, I'm a G and I be trying to. Be trying to pull the notes without the water, right? <laughs> it don't always it don't Christ. always work like that. Mm, my God. Woo. Well, oh yes, but yes. For those who are interested around. in it, it is still available on Sealbox. We literally have less than a case left. I think Sorry. they held back like a case for themselves because I think we got like thirty bottles of it. So of that thirty bottles, we got less than a case left. Wow. And so it is still available. It is a pretty coin. Um, you can use the code soul. 
promo code SOUL for free shipping. If you yes. are interested in this, see the price tag, still want it, but want a discount that actually takes something off the bottom line, you can DM us. Ooh. It will have a code for you, but yeah. only for those who are actually watching, listening, paying attention, yes. and DMing. Yes. Um, we do have another promo code for you that could help with this overall cost. Love it. So, yeah. Anybody who's interested in that, Obliteration is available for however long it's available for until yeah. they're gone. Um, and this will never be released again. So, at least this version will not. So, wow. ciao. It's hot sauce. It's hot. Uh, now that we've added all this water, I want to probably toast with that and see what happens. Mm, yeah, I'm going to let it sit. See how it... <laughs> um. <laughs> see how that one progresses. But yes, y'all. Um, you people. You people. Oh, my God. Yes. It's so go. good. It was really good. Shout out to Jonah Hill <laughs> really and Kenya sh- Bears for that. Yo, shout out to Laura Lundin. I was going to say, shout out to the so, cast, my nigga. The whole... Th- everybody was acting. The ending did get weird and choppy, which I was a little upset about. It I got a little weird and choppy. It was like, it was I flowing wish, so well, mm-hmm. and then it just stopped flowing. I wish they would have shown a conversation between the in-laws that got them back to that One, place. One, that, I thought they were going to at least give us that, too. There was a lot of green screen I'm happening. Sorry to kill the baby. It's, she be all right. Uh, <laughs> she been holding on, Chad. I'm so she happy. She is holding on. I don't even know how, but she, she is. flourishing, mom. <laughs> I got a new one. My new baby just came through. I know, in the and it's so green. And You're still coming through. So I definitely need to do what I'm supposed to do and get you a new pot. But <laughs> um, it like the way that the conversations flowed was so great. It didn't even feel like it was acting. It felt like it was just like improv most yep. of the time, which yep. I really enjoyed. It was great, and the um, humor was great. The humor was great, and the conversation was great. I think that there was definitely a lot more to be said about the black and Jewish community in general. Here's what I liked about it, that it didn't make it just black and Jewish, it made it Muslim and Jewish. That's true, yes, that's true. That was another little layer yes. that's very valid. Yes, yes, Very, yes. very, very, very valid. In, in, in the sense of addressing both the differences and similarities of the two religions. Yes, yes. Because they're yeah. really not that different. Yeah. Once you get down to the nuts and bolts of it all, <laughs> the fucking same shit. I think also for me, though, I hated the fake ass wedding at the end. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed with this like over casualized. Yeah, like, like, did, they could have went on their reenacted one of their shoe dates. Mm-hmm. That's what y'all brought them here to do, not. Let's get married because we missed each other for three months. No, yes, no, we need we to talk. Yeah, how has your three months been? Exactly, what you've been doing? Who you been doing? <laughs> That's what Tim mm. said. I don't think I would. Who ask you been that. doing in them three months? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I don't think I would ask that. And this is my toxic trait. If I been doing something, <laughs> I'm not same. gonna ask. <laughs> if I haven't been doing something. <laughs> I'm gonna ask. I'm not gonna hold it against you, even if I haven't done something. But I'm gonna ask because I don't know if I want you to ask me that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I think in general I would have been like, because I'm such a move owner, right? Like if it got to the point. First off, I don't even think they should have called it off in the first place. I don't think they should have called it off in the first. I, really I think if Jonah say- has spoken for or Ezra, if Ezra has spoken first, I don't think it would have been called off. Yeah, I, the conversation should have just been like. I we're gonna have to keep our, we're gonna have to keep our families out of business. I just ran into your mother, and you know it might be a little weird. Yes, moving forward, conversation should be like ah, I just went off on your father. It might be a little weird moving forward. Exactly. Also, moving what I forward, we like need to keep them out of business. See any couples therapy? None. And for y'all, and it really should have. This is what would have been kind of cool to see. Some counseling split between counseling with the rabbi, counseling with the imam. Oh my god, that would have been great content. Would have been great. great. What, is, what does that look Instead like? Instead of a random party planner's wedding planner thing. Exactly. It should have been, you know, you need to go to our imam for yes. therapy. You if know, we're you gonna need to go, go to, to the imam. Our... I would like to also go to our rabbi. rabbi and like see what that dynamic would have been like. I would have loved what that, that counseling would have looked yeah. like. I think that could have been a really cool way to look at it. Yeah. Now maybe they was like, we well, got about two hours to get this movie all in. in. <laughs> like and we, we just... can't quite dive that deep, but. They now it opens the conversation with someone else to highlight what that looks like. Yeah. Because uh, I still think overall it was great. The casting was great. The writing the was great. Could, I mean, as short as the wedding part was, it could have stayed that short. We didn't really need that. We definitely yeah. needed the redemption of the parents, but we needed more yeah. of a redemption. I wanted to see the did, conversation between the dad and the mom. It became a very full on what parents do where they just ruin your life for a good year. And then uh, in, a, in a week. Try to justify in a week it. They're saying they- sorry. 
after they just spent the rest of that year trying to justify why they ruined your life. Who oh, was this for your best interest? Any parent would have done it. You sure? Yeah, the ending became less great, but I loved, loved, loved their dynamic. Loved I did, it. Like Lauren London and it's Lauren London, right? Yep. And um, baby boy, they did so well. Yeah, Jonah Very Hill. Cute. It was cute. It was chill. It was. And she still she gave him pure black woman. She really did. Like First in all, all things, but she beat his ass in the back of that car. <laughs> <laughs> so about, uh, uh, get out of that car. Oh, it was so great! Oh, it was so great! I was like, please, bitch, yes, because you got me fucked up hopping in the back seat of my shit. But then the fact that she really did look like the Uber driver, it was, it was crazy. so I love perfect. It. But I also was like, where's the other car? Like, <laughs> did she ever show up? Where was she was across the, the street? But the fact she's like, well, I mean. She yeah. does kind of look like you. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Okay, yeah, she's kind of my doppelganger. All right. Oh, All right. You're not quite as racist as I was about to paint you out to be. I loved it. I thought it was so great. But here's a conversation I'm not liking that's happening. I think it's not fair. Why are people acting like a person who looks like Lauren London could never be into a person who looks like Jonah Hill? Why do they do that? Why are they? Why, like, why? Is that a conversation? Because they're like, in I real life, he can never pull Lauren London. Jonah Hill actually there. has a great personality I, and his humor. I bought their whole thing. I bought it. I bought, I bought it. Bought into it. I bought I it. I could see it. it. I could literally be Laura Lennon's character. Like, yeah. the right sense of humor, yes. the right sense of culture, and right not the trying, style. You like the, like, the style. You have, you have actual black friends who check you yeah. and end your right, your right Jewish privilege yeah. whenever it's necessary, yeah. and you're not resistant to it. Yeah. You don't think that you're someone that you're not. Right. You're actually funny. You're not easily intimidated by uncomfortable situations. Right. You have a beard. That's a plus. I like a beard on a white man. Cute tattoos. His hair Cute tattoos. Nice. You have tattoos. There's edge to you. You're not yeah. a square. Yeah. And you actually have a little game about yourself, but you're I not agree. ingenuine. Yeah. That is enough for me to give you a try. He really loved her. And he really loved her. Really yes, that's enough her. for me to love you. Yeah. That's enough for me to get you some. Why not? I don't so, get it. And you're romantic? What are I, you talking about? I didn't like the way she responded to when he wanted to help her out about the job. I didn't like that either. I didn't I like that either. Like, I would have been like, hey, oh, man. nepotism, me, yeah. baby. What the fuck is we talking? Use that white privilege and where it belongs, like, well, baby. Like, uh, just like, um. Ooh, ooh, ooh. White privilege, white privilege. And then Murphy's brother, what was his name? Uh, um, Oh, shit. Um, You know, this is so famous. God damn. Oh, fuck. Damn. His, his brother? Yeah, remember his brother was in the car. There was Eddie's brother. Uh, no, no, no. Eddie Murphy's brother. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh uh, shit. Child. Very famous. <laughs> Very famous comedian. Oh, but he was like, God. I would have got a car out of the whole oh, thing. Oh, you like, talking yeah. about motherfucking Mike Epps. Mike Epps, child. Ooh, child was Mike killing Epps me. Mike Epps was like, uh, you, you would, I would have got a car out of it. I was like thinking about the future. Thank you. Mike, My future but that was where they brought it man. back to realistic. Like, like like really y'all are doing money? too much that's what they brought it back to y'all well, are doing you're gonna too prove much. why you want my daughter okay let's go what do you what, what you got go? what you got where do you want to go please <laughs> put me on for the job <laughs> some of that i probably should have got anyway yes you should have gotten it but now we're giving you an easier way to get you it now you have the access you have the keys my I g know black woman i know I that's, have black ego, woman friends. that's ego though it is but i have black woman friends that probably have to get past that point who now divulge themselves. They literally swim in the fact that their when white I husband you, can give I, them whatever the fuck they need. Can y'all please capitalize oh, on one, a Christ. soft life, and two, being able to be the damsel. Like, do be, it. It's okay to be the damsel sometimes. I absolutely am the damsel sometimes in my wife. And she be <laughs> like, girl. <laughs> and I be like, but girl. <laughs> oh, it's so much. <laughs> It's just so much. Please me. release me. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, for real. Now imagine if my partner was white and a man. Ooh, t- wow. listen. And Jewish? What? I'm getting all the that. The Rubensteins? I'm getting the Cohen's? all of that. What are we talking about? I want every single fucking privilege. Yeah, I, all of it. Get what are we talking about? Get fucked. And we'll My talk ego through, we'll, talk through the racist we'll be put to the back. Yes, we're going to talk but, about the fact that it's privilege. We're not yeah. going to act like it ain't. Yeah. But if you but give it to me, I'm also going to talk about the fact that give me that. Yeah. We're going to call it reparations. Thank you. I mean, I probably would have had, like, I know how hyper independent I am. So I probably would have had that initial, like, I don't need your handout, but then I would have gotten. Well, I don't the need your handout, but I'm gonna take it though. I'm a, I would have gotten a shower, like, bitch, you know, you really want to do this. Like, so is it worth giving like, up the opportunity? Love, 
who is it and let me sit down with him is that and it's also giving yourself perspective like okay this person loves me yeah. this person who loves me happens to have a privilege that gives me what i'm looking for period and if they're offering it to me i have to know it's not to rub their privilege in my face it's to use their privilege to my advantage literally perspective what's wrong with that Nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing's wrong with it. Nothing. Me, I'm jumping on it. I'm not doing all that rah rah shit with you. I'm not. Period. I'm jumping on it. I'm saying thank you, baby. If the father came to my bachelor party, you're gonna see me fucked up. I might fuck a bitch. You should have been here. You gonna see me if I'm a cocaine? You gonna see me off that coke? Yeah, you should have been here. Now disclaimer: I don't do coke, so don't yeah. clip this no, and leave out know. the disclaimer. <laughs> If I ever get famous one day, someone tries it. I don't do coke, yes. don't, nor do I judge those who do. <laughs> so if I were to be a cocaine in nature with my cocaine friends, you're going to see me off the coke. You Period. crashed my party. My party. And guess what? I I'm going to try to pressure you into doing some coke. We literally... Cause we gonna find we gonna we find out how about this life about you are, <laughs> baby. It's about Jokes you. On you. <laughs> what are we saying? Jokes on you. The fuck do you mean? Oh, did you drink the rest of that? Oh, that had acid in it. That had acid in it. You yeah, shouldn't have been here. I would have gotten you a magic <laughs> shroom cocktail made. <laughs> you and you wouldn't have known. Because you would not have known. You would be tripping Just off like the I didn't shrooms. know you bought a ticket to my flight. Sorry, per. Sorry, we in this together, fam. Now listen. You that got was me a fucked good up. moment, wasn't you it? You ain't gonna ruin my bachelor, bachelor, or rat. We not about to do this. I and, I don't drug, and I don't drug people. Taking disclaimer also. Yes. I don't drug. You don't people. drug people. Don't try us. I don't drug people. Don't try us. We don't drug people. Know that we condone the drugging but of people. Random ass mother in law that I might not might have. If you try to pop up on some random now, shit, and I'm doing what I usually do. Will I potentially slip a shroom in your? I'm gonna slip a little something on you to relax you. Or slip a it shroom in your salmon. Crazy. <laughs> Listen, it ain't gonna be nothing crazy. <laughs> so that you can out. reach Nirvana, but you gonna feel and be a certain one way. with us. You gonna open up with me. We gonna talk. Period. Per. You're not gonna be randomly staring at me in these dark ass glasses, making me ever. uncomfortable at my shindy. The same outfit on, like the whole time felt like the. He was black wearing and black and jeans, <laughs> black and jeans, and his motherfucking crown. <laughs> And shade and shades. It was such a different side of Eddie Murphy, bro. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it, and I loved him and Neil Long as like the parents. I did too. I thought it was. I wanted so more Neil Long. I wanted more Neil Long. And I wanted more. So that was. It was also accurate weird. for the depiction of a traditional Muslim couple, though. That's real. The I, women play the back burner. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, but it was well, just not like, play the back burner. They submit to their husbands. Yeah. But, like, they didn't do, like, there was a lot of family dynamics that I really wanted to deep dive, dive would, more into. I guess, Which, it, honestly, so I that's think, where this could have been perfect as a limited series. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I feel yeah. like it could have been a great Could have been fleshed series. out as a series. And maybe, I don't know, maybe some so, version of that will be later. Who knows? For sure, it needs to be. It was it was wonderful. I'm actually going to watch it again because I want to get really high and watch it. Because I watched it first thing in the morning, so I was very sober. Oh, yeah, we were. Um, we were so I'm we definitely going to. Because we I was definitely, I was up. We at were like, on the edge of our seats the whole time. Just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why did I say that? All the funny, cringy fucking up? moments were so great. shut up? Let me say what I did love about the way Lauren the checked the mom. I was like, I'm not a toy. Yeah. I was wondering what she was going to say when she said that. I was like, wow, okay. Because I would have said something at the spa. <laughs> Girl. Like no, bitch. She shushed us because she's rude. She didn't shush us because I'm black. Yeah. The fuck. Yeah. We don't know why she said hi to that lady when she walked in. We don't no, know if that lady had an appointment. She on. didn't even. She didn't check in or nothing. She and might. Work I here. will be the determining factor of when something racist has happened. When something racist has happened, not you. defer to me. Don't sit there and use me as your reason to get on a soapbox and claim you're an ally, my guy. <laughs> but really, you just made this no. shit worse. Yeah. You were expecting there to be an issue because I'm black, and so therefore you look for the first thing that indicates Period. such. You got me fucked up. And now I'm embarrassed. But just like a white, I mean, it was such a depiction of a white woman. It really you was. You could tell. Yes, my daughter in is black. To... My daughter in law is black. You... I'm going to have black grandbabies. Oh my gosh, she was very excited. Like, about that. girl. These are not Cabbage Patch kids. You don't. Get, it's not an American Girl doll or whatever the fucking things are called. You don't get to so change like out our outfits, Kardashian put her in a stroller, like and say, "Hey, looky, looky." But yes, these are. This is not the Kardashian babies. You don't get to just crank us out like fucking products, wear us like accessories, but hire a braider to teach you how to braid some fucking hair. If you wanted to learn about my culture, you could just sit down and actually talk to me. Actually, talk to me. Why are you? Why are you googling? Like, why are you all right? Googling <laughs> and googling for opinions given by white people. That makes no sense. And Stop fucking it. utilizing my blackness as an accessory 
to fucking to amplify and, and fucking it. elevate. Stop it. Your your about? status, your your openness, your understanding of the world. And what it gives you another about? talking point at your at your fucking I don't know, whatever Jewish events. I'm Shout I'm drawing a blank. Uh, at your fucking Habat, Shabbat, there we go. At your Shabbat dinners and shit. You get to talk about the fact that you have a black granddaughter and black grandchildren and you're so down with the culture and you're so evolved and you're so progressive <laughs> because you allowed your Jewish son to marry his Muslim black wife that he was going to marry anyway because he happened to be in love with her. Just loves her? Like, and he ha- she happened to be a baddie. He probably won't show if he'd ever come across that <laughs> unicorn again. And so he got up in that. And she said, well, since you got up in this, we go together. (laughs) And he said, well, of course. (laughs) Why would I ever say no? (laughs) Fuck you, me. And that is almost exactly how my conversation with Ra went after our first date. (laughs) Except I said it. I said it before we sat together. I was like, just so you know, if we proceed, we go together. (laughs) And she was like, okay. (laughs) And then like two weeks later, finally asked me. Two weeks later. And she waited before officially right. asking me. Yeah. But I was like, but fuck, I better not hear about you being with nobody else. That's real. That's real. <laughs> I'm not that person, but that's I love hilarious. It. Yeah, it's great. It's and great. I'm not that person with, with I'm not that person the, with everybody. Yeah, when that line went down, Mr. Man was like, just like black women. I was like, not all of them, baby. Don't get it, don't get ahead of yourself. Don't say that because Because I'm not that way with everyone I've slept with. No, this went down. So Exactly. No, <laughs> I know what category I want you in before I sleep with you for sure. I know if this is gonna be a little bone and bounce. <laughs> I know if this is gonna be oh, okay, I might bounce and bounce back a couple yeah. times. You know, I still don't want to date you, but whatever. And then I know if it's given we go together. <laughs> there's 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 levels that's real. i'm aware of those levels like that. and that okay, everyone okay. gets treated the same that's wrong it's not equal that's wrong so Wait. i know my difference <laughs> i really love these earrings let's cheers to the earrings <laughs> yeah so shout good. out to that store yeah <laughs> <laughs> what store is it i'll tell you we all fight <laughs> Because I need some sponsorship. We love y'all. Like, share, comment, subscribe, turn your notifications on. Use the promo code SOUL if you would like to order any of these that are still available. And we love y'all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And peace. Peace.